like uh, I will, I guess the word message. Uh, it can hold short term mem, like uh, recollections of a of a verbiage stored. I guess would be the best way in a medieval fantasy theme from what you guys are in described. You don't know the exact time, but if you had to count your fingers, it lands somewhere around the five and seventh digit, depending how quick you move them. Uh, and then with that, you would know that there would be some kind of activative method. And Pills, I believe you uncovered that this is a fresh copy. Clean slate. Nothing saved in it just yet. And are you holding on to it? Oh yeah, Pills is, Pills is holding on to it. Yeah, and Pills has it on his possession. You guys are under the grand coastal trading city of Clasp. Here, you found your first treasure. But this is not where the derby is leading you. This is just on the way. Half of the fun, Pills knows. And for the first time in a while, successful and profitable, at least one can assume. Now, I did forget to level you guys up. And that came up just like two minutes before you clocked it, before you popped on. <laughs> so I totally uh, goofed for that one. But if you guys wish, uh, you can at least add the hit die. And if you want to play it with your second level stuff, if you know it already, by all means. But it, I understand that's a little much on the fly. But if everyone can roll me a hit die for your character really quick, that way we can at least have the bolster of your buffiness for any challenges that lie ahead. I believe all you guys, two of you have a D12. I don't know what pills is. What is I your pills? A, a 10? Is that? It feels a little high, though. Let me, let me, let me. You know, a warlock at 10 does sound high, but we won't know unless we check. So, <laughs> let's see here. It's a 10 or an 8. They changed the way this works. So. Oh, yeah, it's a D8. I found it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to roll D eight and then uh for Hazel and Wrath roll D twelve for me. Alrighty. Oh yes. Oh come on. Oh no, that is the worst. <laughs> what did it give you? That's <laughs> sorry, mine's <laughs> like laying dead. This is the, <laughs> the squishiest bath in the world. <laughs> Well, I, I gotta refresh one because I gotta. Well, what? <laughs> what did you end up getting? Sorry, it's. I rolled a three. A three. Oof. I should e just met e standard. Ugh, this is wrong. You know what's amazing is that you just don't seem to want the health as a Goliath. You're like, yeah, you know, my sure size would just scare everyone away if they only knew <laughs> how how fragile I. Oh my gosh, Hazel, you rolled a max. Oh my god. Amazing. Is this where we Very could use nice. an inspiration point, or? <laughs> Just kidding. If you have a DM one, yes. If you don't know, um, wow. I do Hazel's in the corner. I've got too. one inspiration. Oh, you do? Oh, is okay. that? Oh, is yeah. that what the Oh no, the one. Uh, is that oh, that's actually oh, your level. I don't know what that is to be honest. I don't know what that is because the inspiration is the little button. If you click it, yeah, I, I can click it. But was it glowing already? It was not glowing yet. It was not. Then you didn't have one at the time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't know why it's actually glowing? number one oh. right there, to be honest. I think that's your actual class level. So you see how uh, where it says like your okay. name on the bottom? Gotcha. It says uh, whatever Power you are, one. one. Yeah. yeah. So that'll name each individual one, and then the number on the top right will be your max Bummers. character level. Okay. That's a good point, though. I didn't notice that until you brought it up. So now we know. <laughs> so do <laughs> I just excited. modify my own hit points? Uh, I can do that for you. If you know how, then you are absolutely welcome to. To do so on the top left-hand side, you would click the little uh, configuration icon into edit mode. You'll notice a lot of things quickly change visually. You can then click uh, the gear above configure hit points, and then you just add it on in to the max. So you guys are absolutely welcome to manage your own character sheets. If you have any trouble, I will absolutely be happy to assist you. Usually when these things happen, I just in the background get as many as I can in advance, and then whoever hasn't changed, if you do it, you do it, or if I, you know, you beat so me to it, you beat I'm me to it. I'm going to let you do this. You got it. For some reason, so I just can't do it. Plus two constitution, right? So you're going to take that, you're going to add it to that 12. Oh yeah, and then they got the and then they got the constitution bonus. What is your guys' combo? Yes. I got three. Mine's so, okay, three then low. you got you got a six, okay. Yes. Let me check your settings real quick. 
So Should I have add that, added that added that initially too? Yes, always add as a base. So that could be why you rolled a five flat in the beginning. Is that what happened for yours? Uh, I think I rolled a two flat. Nah, that would make sense then. Yeah, then, then that's correct because I added the three already originally, and then you rolled a two the second time and you re-rolled before they jumped on. Or no, you didn't re-roll the first one yet today when we did. No, I, I didn't. I didn't roll one more d twelve. Yeah, and then we'll, right. if it's better than a two, we'll. Add the difference of a two. <laughs> Sorry. No, I rolled a five. It's better than a two than I rolled last time. Yeah, that's still pay three more points. Absolutely. Okay. Those are correct. So it should be at five plus three plus six. You guys might get instantly refreshed on accident right now because I was maldefined player. Eight, privileges, making sure you guys all had the privileges. Jeez, Hazel's did you coming. did you already update uh, Hazel? Uh, I did not add the, the con modifier. Oh, you didn't add the con modifier. No, okay. so they need to add the right. con. So just can add adjust that, that one. Okay. I was like, I was looking at. Yeah, I did go. I was, I was kind of like, going through. Okay, them. you want to add fourteen to that? And I was like, <laughs> thirty-eight at level two. Yeah. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> so we got eight for just rolling high higher the whole entire time. Yeah. Hmm. So that's um, seven, so Oof, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. What is your con? A two? A three. A, four, a three. Yep. Got it. So then it would be uh, an additional six on top of... Oh, no. We already discussed you to get the first time. So you're only getting it this one time. So it'd be 11 total. So you'd be at 16. That's much better than five. It's much better, but man, you're a low rolling Goliath. You're definitely <laughs> the run of the litter of that one. Uh, Pills, is yours completely adjusted? Yeah, I updated mine. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Wonderful. So, you find yourselves up here. Still. In that moment of, wow, there was treasure on the way in the wrong direction, approaching the correct place. This is just mind-blowing for Hills. The rest of your allies don't seem as ecstatic, but they're like, hey, we killed a bunch of spiders, we're not dead, and we found something along the way. So far, so good. But you do know that you could go further. So the bridgeway continues to the Great Undone. The floor is yours for all of you. A uh, quick question, DM. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is the air duct still? I don't know how to ping here. Now press and hold. Press and hold. Uh, ah, yeah. is this still uh opened or did it collapse last time? I forgot. Ah, this one. Uh, no, so it's still open. Uh, you guys just saw like random flames kind of spew out uh, from minor disconfigurations, etc. That all seemed to calm after you guys' initial conflict. Gotcha. Okay. And so then technically, we... that would be a viable option too. Okay, and then we did also pick back up the uh, the rod of uh, correct the poking rod, correct? Okay. The poking stick, correct? Okay. I mean, you guys can call it whatever you wish, but it's been introduced to you as only the poking stick. <laughs> okay. Do you guys want to go through the air duct or check it out at least? Um, the fire makes me feel like no. You're thinking no? It feels like it's a little warm there. Okay. Like, a little bit, it's going to burn me alive. I I would jump right in if I had more HP. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've already gotten away with jumping right into something already. Um, ah. I don't really want to push my luck. Okay. Do we continue on then? I played the just jumping in headlong first card already. <laughs> I'm assuming oh well, I wasn't here, so uh yeah you were that was when he fell down the hole initially. I, yeah, I jumped through the spider tunnel and fell straight through. Can I um take a take a or stand in front of the pipes and just see what's what what can I see, I guess. So as you stand in front of the pipes, go ahead and give me a investigation check as you initially see that there's a lot of uh non-corroded Perfectly clean stainless steel, if that was a term here in this world. For you, it's just very nice metal. Um, 
there's a bit of warmth. You imagine that what's going through this is probably at some kind of lukewarm temperature, nothing overly heated, but you're not sure at what level of fullness it is either at the from this vantage point in which you stand. Okay. You do see a latch if you wanted to try to enter or open it at the very least. Uh, based off of the temperature, it seems like you could still touch it without burning in any way. That's, it seems a little too warm. And I think last time you said fire was spewing out of this. At one I'm point, mistaken. Yeah, just briefly. Yeah. Stopped, but you know, back then it did, yes. Uh, Alright, well let's just continue on then, I think. I won't do anything. Unless you guys want to. Send the bears! Kidding. <laughs> As Miss Ale <laughs> denies, <laughs> good bear. <laughs> I'll take you on when I have more HP. There you go. Okay, Ali's going to lead the fray this time around. I like it. In doing so, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna take a step back. <laughs> You all begin to continue onward. <laughs> right, that's fun. As you are, yes. <laughs> at least Rath's wearing his armor now. Yes, I yes, am. Yes, he's equipped. Yeah, you guys have and some I've, help now. And I have my lance. It's great. There you go. He's got. He got. He got his toys. You know, he's no longer alone. Going through, you realize that it begins to thin. Almost as if it wasn't meant to be a natural passage, perhaps a service corridor of some sort. It begins to come into that of a slowly followed pipeline. There's enough space for everyone to stand off to the right of it. If you felt uncertain, you'd be able to run your hands across the back end to hold it securely and still walk across. As you do, you would notice that the warmth going through is a moving gesture. It's as if there's a fluid running ahead of you. Further on, down the pipes, leading into a connector or connection of many more. It does seem as if there's a bit of steam occasionally seeping out of mild openings or loose washers that this structure should have been maintenance at one time. Though you could tell that that kind of term probably doesn't exist down here. Based off of the general structures, if it wasn't for the heat, there'd probably be a lot more concerns in the general architecture and layout of that in which you stand and traverse but thankfully due to such heat and quality metals you have been able to pass safely so far traversing this passage and seeing it as a trivial at best i'll bring you guys over to your next scene as you guys go along the piping let's move miss sally so it's a bit more believable for her she's a big girl not a room right boom 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 You guys come in from the far, far left side as you traverse south following the pipes. You see there's a, a good hand of molten lava below, but you guys aren't too scared at this point. It's probably about 40 to 50 feet below you. You're on a very sturdy platform. Nothing about this feels riggedy or rigged, even with Miss Alley traversing that head. Is there any conversation, discussion, call out? Um... And during this time, I'd like to talk to, I guess, the, the gang here. Um, didn't, like, uh, two or three parties get ahead of us in the derby by now? Since last campaign? The, uh, the Cobalts, the... And then there was another group, right? From last week? I'm not sure they got ahead of us. Just because okay. I, I don't know that they came in here. That's kind of what I was wondering because of the fresh spider webs and all that. Okay, I, I just wasn't sure if we were. Do, do we think we're ahead of the 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 hunt, or do you think that we are behind the hunt and just traversing in something that is questionable? If this is where we're supposed to be, we're definitely ahead. If it's not where we're supposed to be, we're probably very far behind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Same sentiments. Got it. That's great. I thought you know about that. No, I just know that it's happening somewhere here tonight. I don't know exactly where. 
Yes, we're looking for the derby. It'd be very easy if I knew exactly what it was. It's the underground club, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is this in front of us? Uh, it is a massive vat of heat dispersing off of it. It does not seem as if there's molten lava inside, though it does look as if it's being used to boil something within. It's a little too tall, but you guys are more than welcome to try to climb and peek inside. You guys are realizing that there's a whole set of mine carts and tracks, all leading somewhere of all kinds of odd nuances. There's also pipes going about deep into the lava, not being burned, melted, or even corroded at any means whatsoever. Whether there's any kind of justification behind it is unknown. Though pills, you could give me an intelligence a history check at advantage because you may actually understand why or how such is occurring. Something about the piping. Totally. Makes sense, obviously. Yeah, obviously. So it's it's clear that like this is still warm and things are still happening. It's but operational. It, right. But you don't so hear any look, noise of function. Does it look like like the the tools, like the mine carts and like these barrels and these things ladders, look like they're they covered in dust or they like So here it does look as if it's like a kind of warm suit. Um I, I'd say the only reason you don't notice any webbing down here is because of the natural heat. If there is any, it would probably burn off constantly. It's not hot for you guys in any sense, but you'd imagine long term, there's probably moments where down here it probably rises to a particular temperature. You'd, you'd imagine you caught a good moment to pop in and see the sights, based but off of the like general blackening and scarring. Traversed place. It has been vacant for quite some time, from your understanding. Can I see what these documents are? Absolutely. You go and you poke your head over. Go ahead and give me an intelligence check as you gander out them and try to uh, perceive what it is they may be withholding from you. You scratch your head and you make out work order. Last sanction. Distribution. That's pretty much all you're getting out of it. The rest of it is in another language, but those particular words are uncommon and it's like broken down. It's as if they use like a a template form, and they were just filling it out in their own tongue afterwards. Oh, do, I, do so, we know what this is? Yeah, I wanted to say, does Hazel know what this symbol Hazel, is? Hazel, go ahead and give me an Arcana check at advantage, as you immediately see within the, the substance of magma itself, sitting above it, a magical circlet of power, something in which you, you, you yourself know should not exist. You don't know who it belongs to or what it pertains in the sense of where it connects, but this is of dark sorcery. And the reason it's here is probably because it's never meant to be found. When it was last used, you couldn't tell. But it is available to whomever knows of its existence. Um, so, sorry, you said go. that if we knew what we wanted from level two, we could use it. That... Absolutely. Or you can, uh, if you want to do it in the background while we're playing, and then let me know, give me like a thumbs up or say, hey, my D&D Beyond characters level up, I can update it on the fly. Oh, yeah. Mine's... I just didn't want to put you into a focus and do it. Gotcha. So you're um, ready? Can I read these documents using Eyes of the Runekeeper? Yeah. Did you already update your character on D&D Beyond? I can import I it. I did, yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'll upgrade your, I'll update yours. Um, yeah, absolutely. You use Eyes of the Runekeeper and just go ahead uh, verbally inform me what it does in clarification as I it lets update you. you read all writing. Beautiful. So it's like comprehend languages? Um, yeah, but it's like an, it's an invocation, so it's not like a spell. It just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could just do it, but that, like, same effect. Okay. Yeah. And is that, like, something you have to cast, or is it always, as long as you have that invocation? Um, it does... I don't think it specifies. Um, I think it's just... I think it just is. Got it. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, feature, I believe. As an invocation, I would it would make sense because you could swap them out every level up. So, yeah. All right, I got you updated. That was done. 
That's the rune keeper right here. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just says you could read all writing. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty clear cut in stone for me. I can't click that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. You look at it. You see. Uh, let me see what languages you know first, actually. Mm -hmm. I think Comish and Comet, Comet. Oh, no, Comet and Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Comish for you, you know. <laughs> uh, this is giant. Um, actually, I didn't even consider looking at what languages you know. Um, Ras, which character? Where'd you want to Oh, know? what, uh, what character? What language do I know? Yeah, I feel like you wouldn't know that. Um, I know giant. Yeah, you and... would have known giant. Okay, yeah. And how? Um, yeah, uh, you would have understood, you would have been able to read it, but you wouldn't have cared enough to grasp it, but it would have been some kind of form and notes talking about the latest dispatch in order um, through with your role and as a nine, you just didn't care enough to absorb all of the text. There was just a lot of details on there and you're like, eh, obviously not a, an immediate pertained item. Pills, as you look over it and you take it in, you realize that this was dated three months ago. Mm -hmm. That is the second to most recent document on the table. The one after it, in sense of its statement, if it's dated moment, was only two days then after. Hmm. While he's oh, thinking wow. on that, can I take a, to take a look to see if there's any items in my area? Yeah, go get an investigation check. There it is. Hazel. Go ahead and give me an inside check. You find a miner's kit full of every possible pristine mining tool you could think of. And for you, it fits your hand, Wrath, in the perfect way. It's as if it was meant for a large man. Oh, interesting. You find a giant's tool kit, or, or giant's mining tool kit. So uh, you can make it as a custom item, and then I'll go in there and I'll edit it to add in items of what it actually has. But pretty much your basic, you know, hammer... Uh, clasps, you know, basic mining tools I would include. My one is also updated. Should be. Perfect. I'll go ahead and import that one. Man, you guys are fast. I'm fire. Zoom, zoom. I know. I'm the newbie here. Uh, Hazel, with your insight, your gut tells you something's funky. You don't like it. You're really, you're really against it. But... Your gut also tells you that you just kind of got to let it go. You know something's wrong, but you don't have enough to act. Like, you don't have enough information to act on it, basically. Is, uh, like, how I would gesture it. All right, Hazel, you should be updated. We got giant mine toolkit to wrath. Boom. Pills, what else do you do upon this desk or while you're present there? Well, I, so where was this crown at? It was in this... So, or what was it what? we found? It was like a crown or what was it? Well, regarding who, sorry. Sorry, oh, I thought, so we said we found something... Wrath found. Uh, oh no! So Wrath came over here and off to the left, off to the um, left-hand side where you guys first entered and was looking around here. And he just found a giant mining toolkit. You guys found over here just like uh, like a um, like a forbid like dark magic, like a like anti-nature magic uh, against Hazel's creed. Against like Hazel right now is drawing blanks because she's rolling kind of low. Um, she she knows this is wrong. This is against nature. This shouldn't exist. Even though there's pipes and industry down here, she knows that people live. There's this could be someone's home, someone's, you know, whatever. But this religious mark here of darkness and sanctum does not belong to the owners of this constructed, functioning, whatever it is down below that she's witnessing. She knows that whoever owns these mining carts did not place this here. Can I take a look at it? Yeah, how would you like to... What, what do you wish to do as you go to gander at it? Uh, um, um, if I can... I mean, if we... 
if Hazel has shared that it's like this evil kind of corrupting feeling, not good thing, I guess I would try to determine if I recognize more specifically what it is or what it was used for. Okay. So maybe like an Arcana-ish kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. A summoning portal. It's not a summoning portal for the good kind. It's a summoning portal for the fiendish, dark, otherworldly kind. It would make sense that it's so far below. You're not sure how far down you are, but you'd imagine that this is deep enough to be close enough to the darkest of underworlds for it to be easier to connect to. That and being in a substance of its most likely origin, being in the underworld and hot lava, magma, and fire flames, you would get that this is purposefully placed here because one, no one's been here for three minutes. So this must be either after or someone new in advance. And two, it is optimal because it's sitting in the essence of where its origins most likely reside. So it's almost, it, it, you'd imagine that magic works in boon to its favor. So it's probably easier to open, lasts longer, brings in more. What Something happens that there's, a, it, it just makes sense. Now it doesn't have to be here in the lava at this exact moment. It could be in the lava 15 feet away from you, but someone had a desk here and figured why not write some notes while i'm doing a magic circle makes sense it's just for you at an 18 you're like i wouldn't do this but if i did i'd do the same thing that's a summoning portal i love it 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 could it could or has brought forth some kind of creature past tense um, can I tell if it's been used or if it's been prepared? Um, you can tell that it has been used. Um, give me D100. It's been used plenty of times. Oh, you couldn't possibly tell how recent, um, no. but it's definitely been used. No point. Um, we, you know, I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe here. I'm feeling unsafe since we fell into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we should we should quickly move on. Miss Ali, move on. Sure. Uh, really quick, can I check this this gate to see if uh, if we're do I know if this gate can be opened? Uh, let's see. Which gate are you at, good sir? Far ah, left. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and give me. Uh, well, how do you go about it? Do you just shake it, or there's no lock? There's no immediate blockage. Uh, it does look like there's just like a little. If you wanted to try to open it, you may do so. Yeah, I'll just try to open it then. Normally, you pick it up. It. Right as you lift it, there's just this like. You hear this screech. Right after all of you, not even the need of a perception check here. Oops. It's not open yet, but you raised it. <laughs> you can uh, pull the lock. You can push it open. You can do many other things, but you know it's not going to be quiet at this point. But something, some things, or many feats have hurt you. Can I climb up this wooden this thing up here and see if I can get a better view? Yeah. You climb up it. Go ahead and give me a perception check. You look around. Man. You start to sweat. You wipe your eyes. And as you do, ah, oh, man, that was a salty one. You get distracted. <sighs> Hazel, should I sh should right. I open it, guys? Try it. What else, what are you seeing up there? I don't see anything. Oh my god, it's so hot. Should I try it? Should I climb up here? You can climb up there. One next to you. Yeah, I will. I will try and climb up here. Don't okay. don't crowd me. <laughs> and look if I can see see, see something. Uh, what was it? First. Section? Yes. Okay. 
you see about 130 or so feet away. Not on the floor. Not on the walls, on the sides, on the left or right. Not deep dark in the distance of 130 feet away. But above. Upside down. Hastefully crawling in your direction. And when I say hastefully, you're, you're a ranger. You, you would gather that their hasteful is slow based off of the massive size you see. They're probably going about 20 feet every six seconds making their way to you. That's six interactions with your allies before it arrives. It's ahead of you. The direction you need to go, you want to go. Is this gate covering the whole entire entranceway? From where you stand, yes. Okay, so technically I could just leave it closed and it wouldn't be able to get to us. Theoretically speaking. It's up. It's okay. up. It's oh. Well, that's why I was it's large. Covering it's huge. The whole thing. It's, like, it's like a massive... Yeah, the door. The door's there. I'm not saying it'll stop it from getting to you. Yeah. I'm just saying you can keep it closed. <laughs> yes, it will create a natural <laughs> barrier. Um, th what you would see, Hazel, is just this. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm at a loss of words of what you would. S uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me find its image for you. It should be somewhere in here. It's another spider arachnid-like thing. It's albino in nature. It's not looking very friendly in any way whatsoever. Say that again. Guys, I see something. It looks disgusting. Very much so. Here we go. This is... Uh, here we go. Now that I see the full butcher myself. A scorpion-based insectoid. Upside down. Coming after you. Uh -huh. Something along this lines. Uh -huh. It looks like a big Scorpion. Oh. It's like an earwig with like a. <laughs> you hear scorpion and you're like a cavefisher. Not the <laughs> scariest thing, but not the best thing. They're bigger than spiders, they're stronger than spiders, and they're hungrier than spiders. Uh... It's on the other side of the gate. That's yeah, coming nice. toward you. Ear... Yeah. You know that they're not the fastest at dashing speed. They can move 40 feet. This doesn't seem like it's dashing because it's expectingly you to go toward it. Um, you know that the ways of uh, fissures, pills is in a place like this. There's probably only one, maybe two worst case scenario. They're more individual like species. They don't like to share because otherwise they'd fight for their food. But Those one is enough for any Those small food. Pills know that we can get anything good out of this creature. Pills would know they are one of the most beneficial hunted, raised, bred creatures of the Underdark. Not only is their blood literally naturally alcoholic, which is the num which is the Underdark and dwarves and all the natures in the, in the deep ends, number one source of booze. It is also very flammable. Their husk and carcass can be used for the mining tools in which you guys handle. Their filament can be twined if harvested in a unique, delicate nature into an invisible rope with the same tautness of silk. An invisible rope. I like. I am down to fight this thing if you guys want to. Let's Willing wait. to take the risk? Let's hide and wait for it to get to us. And then let me get it. Surely it's coming. I think it's waiting for us to come. Well, maybe we'll get curious if we wait. Pills, you wouldn't know that you could, like, chuck a rock, make noise. You, there's many ways you can lure it to you based off of what you've already caused just with a lock mechanism. Yeah, just jimmy the gate a little bit. Well, we're high, and you jimmy the gate. Okay. I'll make it. <laughs> you hear it continuing onward. Now, where do you guys all hide? You guys have a stealth check at advantage as you guys attempt to hide. You may move yourself anywhere on this map exposed to you. As you imagine that this is your one and only advantage once you become exposed. Good job, Hazel. You break a heel that you didn't know you were wearing. 
Are we doing <laughs> right now? Oh my gosh. They're trying. <laughs> uh, they're kicking down boxes. Uh, yes. They're chucking shit. Rath is over here <laughs> swinging the gate around and he's making less noise with the gate. You don't see you guys me. are trying to hide. You know, like, literally, <laughs> it's just like doesn't even witness his existence because it's distracted by the other two just fumbling over themselves. Miss Allie also needs to give me a stealth check because she looks oh, yeah. And this is a different place for her. She looks small on this map, so I can only imagine how big this place is. Fire giants are pretty big creatures. Oh wait, this was advantage, right? <laughs> they don't like being down here. She would really like to leave. Now you guys may position yourself anywhere on the map and assume that you're hiding. Unless you guys were choosing to hide there. That's totally fine too. Uh, I have um, a question. Go for it. A quick, sorry, I'm looking at the D&D Beyond spells for Paladins. Mm -hmm. Do I know all of my first Maybe level spells? You know them, but you have to prep them. Prepare. Right, okay. Yes. So because I, you leveled up, I'll allow you to do a quick, you know, I have this, I have this, I have this kind of thing. As you, you know, we're all learning. Um, but yes, normally per level up, you would then just... Uh, prepare. Change it. Yeah, prepare. Or yeah. I think it's long rest or something like that for you guys. I don't even actually I think, think it's per long. level up. Yeah, but because I have another character who's a paladin who always says I'm changing spells, and then he never tells me what they are because that's the deal we have. It's like a surprise, uh, so <laughs> like he'll whip it out on me in the worst moment, and I'll just be like, you know, maybe like uh, it's like we have like he'll ask a question. I'm like, oh boy, here comes the mystery spell. <laughs> um, pills, Hazel. Though you rolled bad, you could still choose to move somewhere. Are you guys hiding in the boxes you fell in? How big? I mean, is this thing as big as it is represented here? Yeah, I want to ask a thing. If I'm standing on top of these like wooden rafter things, would it reach me? Do I know how like if it's that big? Yeah, how big is it actually? Uh, pills. Well, for, yeah, Hazel, because it's so because it's kind of like hard to see on the roof, right? Because you know you guys is bad rolls. Uh, pills. Now that you know what it is, you would know that these bad boys can get anywhere from. Silverfish under dark, and a silverfish under dark is like as big as three dwarves to a fire giant's wrestle toy. They're not strong enough to beat a fire giant. A fire giant would just crack them like crab legs. Their meat tastes like crab meat. Um, but for small critters like you, one of its pincers can easily dangle and chuck you around. I would say it's probably covering three times the space as one of you. Okay. You see pills move back just a little bit. Okay, so do you hold your ground? You stay tough up there? I'm staying there. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I, I finished uh, leveling up my character. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Just in time for this fight. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then... Thank you. Beep. Very rarely, later down the line, when I create custom items only in Foundry, do things disappear. You'll notice later on that I make two characters. One is a copy or master. I'll put some kind of random thing next to it. That's usually the one that no one should touch, including myself, because that's the non-broken character. Because later, as you guys get a bunch of items and become super powerful, things break. So, oh, okay. Just a heads up. That's just communicating oh, between know, me and you. I think huh? Hazel tries to go down there and stays next you got to this. Hazel stays by the base of one of the vats, understood. Do you guys Rash? want me to be the uh, meat shield here, or can I hide because I have stealth? <laughs> you have stuff. You could hide. I mean, you could hide envy and meat shields. You could hope it just doesn't ignore you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here. And it just goes right over your head, you know? What was that? Just stab it. As soon as you see it, stab it. Sure. Right. I'll just. Do you, do you guys want to kind of bring it over here to pinch it? Or do you no, want no, it to. Keep it in front. Keep it in front. I'm gonna hang tight with the bear here. <laughs> right. I got it. 
Maybe I'll even come from above. Best friends, and then I'll jump down. down. There you go. I dig it. I dig it. Don't fall into the hole, Pilf. I just start throwing (laughs) stones at him just to see if he'll fall. Right. I mean, you're good with the stones. I mean, clearly uh, it's the one thing you're a professional with. So I didn't give my character a middle name yet. (laughs) So maybe it'll be a stoner. (laughs) (laughs) Dig it. (laughs) That's awesome. All right. So, as such, I'll just shrink this just a little bit. Boom. You guys see as you hold positions. As it gets closer, you hear it. As it's breathing heavy and showing curiosities. The token is this one here. The big one. Look at the beautiful image of it. Boom. Whoa. As it arrives. This you insect have all notice that it's very... Uh, yeah, I couldn't find the little token art. <laughs> but, don't worry about uh, it. As it approaches, it's like... As, and it's upside down. You don't notice any eyes or pupils. It's just like... <laughs> It's trying to sense, trying to pick up. It's going to make a perception check. Breathes in the air and it checks around. And immediately through the gate with almost invisible precision. I need... Ooh, pills. Never mind. Hold on. Hold on. I misread something. You were hiding the person I was attacking. Sorry. Let me read my distance on this. Pills, you're within five... You're five feet within my max. So you're the target. You don't see it, by the way. But you see it messing with the, the, the iron gate. It's like... <laughs> Its face is like rubbing against it and you're not quite sure why. And then you all hear like a You don't see it initially. It's almost invisible upon like compressed air spraying out. And then a quick little white (laughs) and then disappears again and then I need a straight saving throw as you feel this just like padded stickiness just hit you. And as it does, you quickly look at yourself and it's almost like when you walk into like, you're you're never sure if it's really just dust or an actual spider web when you open the front door but you hope for the lather and you just start running around like a freak but in this case you don't get that chance because the more you move quickly and then you pull out your dagger and you realize that oh thank goodness it was already in your hand and it catches it cutting it and dropping it like a rope almost all the stickiness disbands as you break the first textured piece holding it all together you just make the save Y'all roll initiative. Initiative. Is that on the character sheet again? Uh, you can actually roll on top of the screen where your icon is. There's a little dice over your face. You can just click on that. Dice. Wait. Oh, yes. I remember now. Oh. Oh my god. Combat begins. We begin with Miss Alley. She is not yet a target, though there is a gate still between the two. Oh, I'll move this one up to be appropriately there. Though, if Miss Ellie wishes to barge, she could attempt to, or she can wait steadfast. What would you like her to do? She waits. Would she hold an action to attack if it gets close or breaks through? What's it again? Would she hold an action to attack in the event that a threat arrives? Yeah, she will try to. So you can do something called a hold action. Um, you use your reaction to. So you can say like, you can say the action you want to do, if and the terms in which that will apply. Yeah. Right, so you can be specific mm-hmm. about what happens, and your it will use your reaction. Okay. To do that thing, but only if the specific trigger, trigger you define. And you can be happens. generic. I'm 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 loose with basic things except when it comes to hey if the fly touches the horse i want to firebolt it before it bites it and it makes it rear up because it was a horse fly that's that's the only time i'm very strict but in this case you could say it attacks if it gets in range and i'll allow you to attack but there's a story there (laughs) you know technicalities (laughs) the word exists for a reason sorry i I don't 
yeah. you can tell me if this is okay, but okay. when I was doing my character sheet, I wanted to cla uh, cast Bless on three of us before totally the country fine. came close. Oh, absolutely valid. Yeah. Great. Do so I need to trigger it? Yeah, just click on it. Yeah, just click on it. Uh, if you click on your guys, if you use Alt and click on each of your tokens that you wish to bless and then cast bless, it might do something. Yeah, so like on yours, it gets very hard to see, I guess, for that one. But it kind of like highlighted you. But if you had all of your teammates selected, it would have highlighted all of you guys. But it's totally uh, fine. It's just a visual flare. You guys are all blessed. You have a D4 added to all of you. Yes. Roll. Yep. Uh, attack Everything and saving. But, yeah, yeah, attack and saving. Yeah, just no skill checks. But that's still beautiful, so... A D4 added to everything. When you guys roll your dice, by the way, um, there's a situational section. That's where you can add all your extra benefits if you didn't want to roll them separately. So if you had a D4, you'd put one D4 that, you know, or plus one D4. And let's say you had another thing you'd add on top plus da 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 da. And you just keep a running math problem. And then hit submit and it'll just toss all the dice in together. So just so you're aware. So if you add one D4 to everything, it'd be good. With that, Everyone but Miss Ellie is blessed, right? It's just it's only three, three. Yep, right. only three. Miss Ellie holds a reaction pills. You almost became a prepared lunchable, but you quickly avoided. I will. Is my cur am I still concentrating on hex? Or would it have dropped? No, it would have dropped. It would have absolutely okay. dropped. Yeah. I will cast hex again. You go. And. You cast hexy marker. Drop this creepy, dusty, hexy dust on top of this big, ugly insect. Yes. Uh, so let's... It doesn't feel anything from your hex at this time, but you yourself know that you're finding this tether with it. And then I will shoot up an Eldritch Blast at it. And then warm up the hand beam. Situation. We know Pills has a high accuracy with this guy, so let's all expect a hit. Folks, I don't know how to say it. If there's a character in existence in the world of D&D &D that doesn't know how to shoot an algic blast, it is Pills, and thank God it's underground because there's no witnesses down here. <laughs> you fire. <laughs> you hit the gate. There's a lot of grace. I guess you didn't say which hole you were trying to shoot through, and you went for all of them. <laughs> it's just like... It's, it's really warm down here. Jeez. <laughs> Is it sweat in my eye or something? Do you hold your position, Pills? Uh, I'm going to duck behind like this. You got it. You okay. Can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> so uh, I'll allow you to say that you duck, and I have plus two to your AC while you're ducking. Oh, okay. Nice. Unless you were trying to hide. If you're trying to hide, you could I was it. trying to get behind this like ladder thing here, but and it just, won't let me move there. Gotcha. I could have just drew a really fat line, to be fair. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little obnoxious with my work. So here we go. Let me click that. There you go. Now you should be able now you guys should be able to move freely in there. Oh cool. That'll be my turn. You got it. You see a blast fly out. <laughs> it will be your turn Rast. next. You're not sure if they're trying to take the door down. I. He's about to. Move. The door's still up. Is that right? Oh yeah, it's totally fine. You just. Uh, Eldritch you blast. Just saw your and destroy the door. Thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'll also hold my action for now, and if he gets close, I will. Um, I don't know if I'm on an elevated position, but I'll jump down you and are. attack him. Got it. You're probably like five feet up. Nothing to go on. You're ten feet. Sorry, you went up the ladder. Um, okay, you got it. I mean, it's on the ceiling still, so you'd actually be in the perfect vantage point of being able to attack it. Oh, perfect. Well, I will not jump down. I will just jump yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Within range, you will see. <laughs> got it. Ugh. It's creature's turn. As it stands there, it leans again against this wrought iron door that it was loosened by an algae blast. And it's like... <laughs> It begins to put a little more pressure. Still nothing. And then it just shoves its way forward. It tries to ram right through it. For 16, you guys see the two tops of it just 
<laughs> slowly loosen. It does not break through. And I can shoot endlessly with this. It now fires. Oh. Missile is in range too now. I mean, not missile, sorry. Uh, Hazel. It will see Hazel as Hazel's standing down there at the base of the uh, vats. It's like... Oh. As it puts its face against the uh, iron, similar to it, and it finds a clear opening that fires. And a heat of filament. Go ahead and give me a strength saving throw as this invisible spray you guys just hear again, the little vacuum. Of a quick little breeze of white as it was all concentrated for a moment and then again. Go invisible as it flies at your ally. No saving throw. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, no. It catches you, Hazel. Excuse me. As it holds you against that in the metal wall behind you. You'd have to make a strength save to break out of it. Otherwise, you are considered restrained here. What? Not, not Wraith, right? That's Hazel. Restrained. Sorry, Hazel. Yeah. I don't, did I say Wraith? Yeah. Not bad. I was probably looking at your character. Um, let's see. Yes, you are. Now, the filament does have... Uh, it, it is considered a targetable thing. It's not something you just slash through. You do actually have to try to hit it to do damage to it. It has a full AC and HP. Uh, and you do know that now. Otherwise... That's it. Yep. If I happen to use it again, the previous one does uh, brittleize and fall off. So I can't stack all of you guys under a filament. I can only use one at a time. That was. Good to uh, know. Could have been me to just continue, you know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll be there. Uh, it's still behind the gate. It's not knocked down yet. Uh, Hazel, <laughs> you are stuck. You can do a sleight of hand to try to grab a dagger or a short, small knife on your person, something yeah. sharp, to try to cut it yourself. Go ahead and give me a sleight of hand. I wanted to say this, yes. Nice. This woman just handles herself. She only, she not only kills things for you guys. She not only has a massive bear underground with you guys. She herself never gets tied down. Just better watch out, Corey. As she gets out quickly and swiftly, <laughs> leaving that in the filament down below, she learns quick as she saw pills do something quick sim quite similar. Her survival instincts are uncanny to those around her. What do you do in your position? Uh, was this actually a bonus action what I did now? To try to... Correct. Get out here? So you do have an action in your opinion. Yeah, I will just try and shoot with my bow to this creature. Yeah. You find plenty of openings and you fire. Twenty-four. Oh, wait! I can do it down here. Yeah, it's Let the me. smallest try. Yeah. You fire, and something about you. Not only did you mock Pills' maneuvers in escaping, you also mocked his skills in aiming. As you fire, you hit a bolt. Pink. At first, nothing seems to matter because you just missed. But then you see that bolt. <laughs> Loosen the door just a little more. Oh man, the DC thirteen didn't make. We need to remember to put that D four on our saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> or tax <to> everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you're right. She didn't add it to the saving throw. Yeah. Like, let me see what did she roll originally. Could have made the difference on a four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, you miss. Anything else? Any movement? Uh, is this kind of actually hide behind this? Yeah, do you want to kind of block behind or make yourself a non-focused target? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah just we way. got a we got a we got a full pills squared going on in actions and economy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I forgot. Uh, apologies. Did we want to? Did you guys decide on rerolling or keeping standard initiative? I think we're keeping standard. Got it. Standard, yeah. Miss Elliot is. So this creature still. It's still behind the gate. Yeah. Oh. It itself did not do enough damage. You guys are definitely helping it. I guess she's staying there. 
Okay, she holds again. She's Coming ready. She's coming. ready. Coming. You got it. She's so like, <laughs> she gets her claws. She does like yeah. she's ready for some brisket, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hills. You're hiding behind the ladder, and you could see it through the ladder, through the grate. You don't think it'll be able to get you this time, but can you get it? Jump out. Shoot an just blast out. And you do a Heisman pose. Alright, here we go. You cast Pix, Red. Oh, uh, yeah, it's already You up. can do it. And if you target them, there you go. Oh, <laughs> man. It's fast. You see it, and it looks like it's hitting the gate as it's flying. The gate begins to rattle as the pressure of the force damage comes nearby. And you see the creature. <laughs> its pincers go around where in which you made the focus contact. And it starts to like brush it off as if it felt the pain. Maybe what you did. Give me some damage. You made contact. Okay. Nice. Just under maximum for 12 points of damage. Coming in strong. A little bit of hex. You boost it in. You get a genie in there. My goodness, it's just a powerhouse over here. You just did like a total of twenty-six points of damage, if I'm not mistaken, uh, as it just rippled through. <laughs> Man, Pill looks good when he does some damage. I tell you, if he hits more often, it, just the stack. Just think about the stack. You jump right back in, and it focuses itself again. <laughs> Who was that? Where was that? A mystery indeed. Anything else? That's it. Steadfast? You are Wrath, next. risk taker. Your allies are taking all the risks. You're watching this thing like a um, zoo animal caged. You like to wrestle your kids. And I'm still, uh, do, do I still believe I'm stealthed or hiding? You believe, due to the commotion of your allies behind you, that if it hasn't seen you yet, it's by choice. Hmm. Like, you, you definitely feel like if you don't mess with it, it will not bother you. You feel like you are not a threat in its eyes to your understanding based off of the interactions it has had with your allies. But, it is up to you. Hmm. I'll take the risk. I'll, uh, I'll just continue hiding, pop a squat, and just be like, alright, come on, guys. You got it. Maybe Hit your for targets. You. This is free, you don't gotta work as free hard. shooting right now. <laughs> I thought we were paying you! <laughs> <laughs> you must prove yourself. <laughs> it goes and it hits the gate. You guys hear the rattling of it just boom. Oh, wow. It does a total of 12 points of damage to the gaze. You see the gaze just <laughs> as it begins to bend and break as its claws just with lobster pinching power just rip through it. And now it doesn't have enough space to nearly get through without harming itself. So it's going to take a little more time to clean up its work. But if it needed to, it could reach inside. He's a the threat is only getting threatening. Yeah. <laughs> you pop out. Cast you Hunter's aim. Mark on it. Oh, Hunter's Mark. Nice. <laughs> Stacking. Just a knockoff Morlock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's pulling off a of pills really well, though. I mean, she's figured it out so far. And she's an expert I'm... ranger over here. Go ahead. Right. Fire. There's a much bigger gash in the opening. There's less iron beams in the way. It, 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 it kind of like did like a peekaboo. Oh, Max, critical. Hit Dang. you just it, it has opened it up. You're just like, there it is. <laughs> it screams in pain and agony. Give me that damage. Oh, yeah. 
No, 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 no D4. Oh, they okay. got it. Really, only have red. And Low. Then your hunter's mark. Does and your hunter's, hunter's mark, mark. Everything you roll is doubled. So actually, so she roll. did a critical hit on that. It's four. Something's still not right. Oh, is it normally one D eight? So she rolled two. You rolled it two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rough, rough, yeah, rough. Got it. And two. then everything you roll is doubled. So that's the beauty of it. That's the square. Two of those. <clears throat> no, 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 minus, minus. Yeah, just roll. See, no, no, no. So, here. Hazel's checking her arrows. Oh, which one? How many barbs did that one have? Hold on. Okay. Oh. She's, she's counting the potential damage. Oh man, it's against oh, you, but God. you're still putting it. You're still putting it out there. It's still ten points of damage it didn't have originally. And it looked good. That's what mattered. You know, take away the number value. It looked awesome as it's just like screaming and crying as it's ripping at itself. It can't seem to get it as it snips it off. It now has like a like a very unfortunate. Uh, wow, it just dropped the word. Splinter. Bam. Found it. Uh, it now has a massive splinter and, you know, in bulged into it and in which it cannot get out because it has pincers and it already cut off the longest part. So congratulations. It is not printed. Anything else you wish to do? Yeah, I'm just trying to hide again. Alright. I imagine there's a thumbs up to the back of pills there. As Miss Allie is like <laughs> she says, I can reach through. She can absolutely walk through the gate and strike through freely at this point because it's been you know gashed out enough. Can you also move back again? Like Oh, absolutely. Back? Now, there is a thing called opportunity attack. If you walk up to something and do the hokey pokey without being able to do the pokey part, then you get the hokey. So there's, uh, you know, an in and out to this situation. Yeah. It'll attack. Right. It'll attack if she walks away. Yeah, that's true. I forgot. Yeah, all right. She's I, a big girl, I, though. She could take it. You know? Yeah, I will. I will go there. And... She what walks up. <laughs> She has multi attack. She goes oh in. You know, yeah, she does have multi attack. You can go features, one of each. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she tries to. Oh, wait, this is. It's the dice icon next to the claws when you have over it. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, their, their character sheet looks different now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's an NPC one there for you. Also, oh, no, I don't hold think on. she's blessed. I think it's just the three of us. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, yeah, this is all flat. She reaches out. <laughs> the, it manages to use its mandible to kind of block it off. There's a cool looking fight going on through the gates as you see the, the iron gate just <laughs> bouncing between the two of them, just putting weight against it on both sides. Go ahead and give me a uh, fight attack. What? Huh? What? It's a, they have multi attack. Oh, is this just like a regular? Oh. It's her turn. The right, the 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 companion bears have multi attack. So I encourage growth okay. with your companion. Oh, okay. So oh. it'll develop things as you continue using them. Okay. Um, open up and do the bite attack. So you could follow the character sheet to a to a T as I'll continue developing it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Beautiful. She reaches into the side as the as the mandible goes out and just <laughs> rips yeah. it off because if this bear has fished and they love crab. As it's just, <laughs> give me some damage. Very nice for eleven points. You guys just smell this fresh meat being ripped off of it. Some of your stomachs growl if you're hungry. Pills, particularly, it is delicious. It is an absolute common eatery that's just guaranteed. And then, if it dies, you could drink its blood and get drunk. <laughs> okay, what? You're excited now. Does Miss Ellie stay there, or does Miss Ellie back? She's moving back. That's right. She backs up. <laughs> She's watching it as one of its claws come out. <laughs> Trying to reach it. Oh, 
I attacked myself, but that's just because it was targeted. Oh, <laughs> oh misses anyways. <laughs> it doesn't get it. Instead, it gets caught on it, and its body falls from the ceiling. <laughs> Onto the ground. It's on its back. Quickly, it flips around, but it is now on the ground, grounded, no longer on the ceiling. Oh. Uh, such pills. It's looking vulnerable. Ah. You've seen these things. It's doing the, the, the iffy dance. Ah. Fire out. <laughs> it stands there and uses fire. You could have sworn you were this close to him. Thing you missed. Sixteen, everybody. Sixteen. Sixteen. Wow. <laughs> Sixteen's the magic number. Anything but, else? Um, oh, what's the sixteen that you suck up? <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. So nothing else, pills? No. Yeah, I'm done. Finger twist, no rubber hand tricks, no. <laughs> Make ready. Slay I've got 19 total damage, all right? I mean, it, it, that's a big factor in its entire pool, for sure. That's like, I won't go down that road yet, but it's a lot. Uh, rats. It's still standing. It's on the floor. It's looking at you all from... Where? Who knows? You can't tell oh, where its damn. eyes are from here, but man, is this thing just albinoly creepy. There's just not coming in at all, is it? Well, it's because the door's still in the way. Yeah, I mean, you guys beat it up from both sides, so it's like bent. It's like, where do I go? Who wants me? And then Allie gets on the other side and jams it up. Like, I really wanted to pop it through one way, but you guys are just, you know, it's like a tug of war. I really don't know if you wanted it to come in or not. I'm not sure. All right, I'll, I'll hold action for... Uh, before I cast Word of Radiance. Okay. You got it? You hold yourself. As you begin to prepare for what you assume it'll do next. It bolsters through. <laughs> cast your Word of Radiance. Ooh. You see the gate. Before you even get here, it just... You already see the creature over it, and then you hear it following behind. Uh, let's see. It is a con save. What's your saving throw? Um, I'm not sure how to check that. It would be on your spellcasting page, usually. Uh, hmm. On 14. A 14? 14, yep. I rolled a 14. Okay. I beat it. But, on the 16th, and, uh, oh, is it a hit or miss? Oof, hold on, let's see. Whoops, I clicked on accident. Ignore that. <laughs> um, let me read it real quick. It's a hit or miss, I think. There's yeah, no half damage. Yeah, yeah. it so busts through. You try to speak out some grand importantness, but you don't get a chance to speak because it just barrels right in. And you thought it was ignoring you all this time. You felt alone. You felt uncared for. You <laughs> felt like it just wasn't interested. Until now. One of its claws Thank comes flying at you. <laughs> missing. You bash it out of the way. Another one. <laughs> Throws another one forward. Completely, you be failing as it goes, and you manage to just hit it. You give it enough ricochet that it falls on its back. It's considered prone at this time, as you jammed one of its mandibles. Okay. Wow. Hazel Sterling, you look and you see this thing on its back. The irony is, a ranger has disadvantage when things are prone on the ground. You no matter how you look at it, <laughs> <laughs> you'd roll. It rolled a one. It was, I didn't do it. <laughs> but you can run up and stab it. You can still shoot it. It's just it is just 
role of warning. It's really weird. I yeah. still find that interesting. No, I'm still staying back here. I don't want to you have fire? this vibe again. <laughs> I want to see Pinky Promise and Mom for no limit. You want a Pinky Promise and Mom for what? <laughs> you absolutely hit. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Pinky Promise or go to bed and no way. Oof. Minimal damage. Do fire. Scream. <laughs> See, when it's prone, it just has a natural thing. It's a, it's a, it's a void. And four points plus the mark, which is the D6. An additional two for a total of six points of damage. It's trickling, and that's all that matters. Damage means progress. As you hit it, you see it kind of jam up in one of its joints. You've got to go and give me a stealth check for that. Let's see. Feel confident. Miss Ellie has all the opportunity in the world to go ham. Oh yeah, what was this with the multi attack? Yeah. She just attacks twice. She can do claw and yeah. light. Yeah. Just go to the character sheet. Do the claw. You have to roll them separately. Yeah. Absolute. Beautiful. Oh, so okay. Give me the damage for the bite, also though, because you hit with the bite. You missed with the claws. Oh, the, that you. What? Okay. She attacked. She did two attacks, but she didn't do the damage yet. So give me the damage for the bite. Yeah. Nice for eight points of damage as Miss Ellie comes in and just, <laughs> and just rips through it as she does. You see the screech, it just <sighs> Miss Ellie chucks one of the legs toward pills. Oof, you just want to devour it now, but you must kill this. Not until you can drink and eat. You cannot just have one. As you see, Miss Ellie just. <laughs> Start rambling at it where it is and just rip into the carcasses there. But it is still living on its back. You guys would have had advantage, by the way. Moving forward for Miss Ellie and uh, Wrath. So it's advantage if it's prone and it's physical and it's melee. It's disadvantage if it's range. Pills. You see this thing. It's not looking great. It's it's almost sad that you, little you, in your mind, little you took this thing down. Normally, it'd take like six of you guys. That's a day. Now with pills here. Step out from behind. Stretch my shoulders back. Pull out my trowel. And I run in there, screaming. Oh my God. <laughs> and just... You throw yourself on it. Go ahead and give me that attack with your spade deck. Digger. Oh shit, forgot my... I don't think it matters. <laughs> I was gonna say I forgot to do four, but I don't think it matters. You go right in. What's the favorite part that you're gonna disembowel from him? I know you're going for something specific. Going after one of the claws. You just go in and you go for the biggest claw, because you know that's where all the meat's just stacked in. You know that muscle is the just the, the spot. As you just you pop it off. <laughs> Quickly, you see its claws ready to, and you use your prowl. You nip the little strand that was about to retract it backwards, and you see it just like a toppling tower of Legos and Jenga blocks all together, just falling with no purpose in place. That, that part's mine. That's mine. It does. <laughs> it goes stiff. And you all realize that you found yourselves an amazing feast on accident. All at the same time as not dying. Oh, it's not dead yet? Oh, no, you guys not dying. Sorry. It's over. Oh, okay. Combat's over. You succeeded. That was impressive. 
I really thought you guys were going to open the door, run away. Oh my God, it's running in here. But it was stuck there. And you guys, you know, there's a lot of nice back and forth going there that prevented it from just beating you guys to a pulp. So very nice. Uh, I believe there's some harvesting involved. Would hand, you guys like to harvest it? my hands and. You begin to drink it up. Oh, drinking it without any filter is pure con saving rolls. Boom. Give it to me. Let's see if you go into a stupor shortly after. Ooh, that was like a teeter-totter of a one there. I was like, where's it going? Where's it going? A 19. Very nice. You are steadfast. You're pounding at a varying on, you know, where you're scooping it from depends on concentration of original source of creation. You're varying anywhere from nine percent to a thirteen and a half. You're looking at you're looking at high IPA to bottle of wine category alcohol raw from just the blood, just literally its life source. But with that, you also know it is very flammable. Do we have any you guys container? do? Hmm? Oh, cool. I'd imagine you guys probably have a, a bottle or two lying around. Maybe a cup. Mm. You guys can throw something over to preserve fluids or something. I'd, I'd give you guys maybe, say, three standard 16-ounce bottles. I dump out my water scam. And you got it. Just, this is worth it. It's a massive creature, and you're kind of mad that you can't harvest all of it. I don't even have a bottle of How does this even work? Breath. I'm going to try to what? grab on. No, I am going to. If do I have, I have rope? Don't I? Yeah, you guys would all be assumed to have rope with your kids. No, I don't think I have rope on. No, damn it. No, no, so it, you have a kit, right? If you have a kit, it should be. Yeah, kit. but yeah. I, I put that rope. Somewhere oh, else. oh, that's. Right. Okay. I have the rope. I have yeah, you it, don't actually. have it. No, actually. Yeah. Can I borrow rope? Sure, take it. <laughs> don't have rope. <laughs> I'm going to try and tie this rope around this carcass, and somehow also tie that around me. And you want to tug it? Not exactly. Okay. I... I'm going to try and, like, hold on to it while I use the vessel and pull <laughs> it with me into the vessel. This is his DM brain is like how the hell does that? No, happen? I already know how. Give me. Are, a you talk, check. are you talking about the summoning circle? Is that the vessel? No. So he's a no. genie. He has a genie vessel oh. that allows him to bring things into it. Now this genie vessel is an entire suite floor level hotel room on the inside. There's actually a map for it, and I just haven't finished designing yours. Each genie has one. I have a genie in almost every session, so I do know how to do this. But give me a D100 to see if you figure it out as a player. I mean, you figured it out. So I'll give you that. You figured out how to do it because there were conditions on how to get it in. Now I just want to know if Pills 100% believes in himself. I mean, you're going to do it, but if you, you, you go, yeah, your character kind of just justifies it. You're just like, you break it down to like a science, to the very minuscule believability of how this can be done. You create a tether, a tether that bounds you as an entity with it. And you remember reading in these odd comics that you found at a stall once called Ranger Ted, that there was a story of a massive turkey that was fought by a bunch of students, and they wanted to take it for turkey dinner. So a genie came by and offered to use his vessel doing something of similar methods and succeeded. In fact, they brought it all the way to campus and plopped it at the nursery office for some reason, the wrong place for a turkey, but they did anyways. And you were like, that's ridiculous. And for the first time ever, does ridiculous make the most sense? You do this, and it's a ring, right? That you, that you use as your vessel? It's a ring, yeah. Or is, it a, is it a ring on your finger or a ring as a necklace? It's on my finger, yeah. Got it. The ring. You 
and this massive creature just disappear. <laughs> the fisher and pills are gone. Miss Sally and Hazel, you've seen this before. Yeah. Not to this extent, but you've seen this before. Wrath, you have no fucking clue what just happened before you. What the? <laughs> what the heck? Did he just take the whole entire corpse? Yes. It, it, is he not going to share? I imagine, I imagine there's pieces that are still out there because they're not fully tied. Like yeah, there, there's like you know, there's there's oh. a couple of legs left that Miss Ellie ripped off and things, but for the, the the pretty much the bulk of it is gone. Like we're talking <laughs> like at least uh just under. I mean, this creature the- in fluids would probably be easily three, four hundred pounds. Like just just fluid, you know. Well, the rest is all pretty, light. What about the invisible rope uh, ingredient so, part of it? That would everything. Everything's with pills. <laughs> At the end of the day, everything's with pills. Um, you could get some legs. You, you could, so you can harvest some meat and some general ex- exoskeleton for hardening tools, that kind of thing. The filament would be within the general car- carcass itself, which is with pills. Now that is available still inside. It is nothing spoiled while well, this is within the genie vessel. It is a very sound way of carrying things. It is the most unregulated. Theoretically broken, bag of holding, but comes with conditions. <laughs> you must adhere oneself to it to be committed. So, here they are. I take my poking um, stick and I just start poking the <laughs> ring. Uh, yeah. You, yeah, you poke the ring and it just kind of bounces around. Uh, it has no effect to pills whatsoever. Happened? As he just kind of hears like a thudding, like a wah 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 wah. Right. I'll uh, ask Hazel. Does he? Does he always take take the <laughs> everything? Real quick, Bye. let me help put my kid down. I'll be right back, guys. Sure thing. I don't know. <laughs> no? And I slowly just start to drag the ring with the poking stick to the edge of the lava. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How long can you stay in Um, four hours. Oh, really? I can come out earlier. Oh, yeah, I can come out whenever I want. So You can only stay in there for four hours? Can yeah. can we hear you or you? No, I can hear you. I can hear what's going on around me. Um, really? I can't communicate with you. Okay. But it's like a honey, I shrunk the children type thing, right? Into your genie bottle. It's like a genie lamp. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, do you guys want to explore more of the? Uh... I'm looking at this. This looks like a lab down here in the south side where we were looking at the documents. Yeah, there is something going down on. Like, we need to look at this box. It looks room. like this is a door right here. Over oh. here, also, there looks like there's. But um, I think you get you get over there probably from here where the top. Maybe there's just grates over here to climb up. Maybe you have to help. Yeah, this might be a door. It does look like there's a door. I don't know why this. Oh, we have to hold down, not just click a bunch. Um. Yeah, that looks like a door. Maybe we can jump over this. Yeah. Mm. And then you can get over here. But yeah, okay. otherwise it looks like you could maybe. Maybe there's some way around over here. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of want to go through the door first just to see if there's any uh, treasures that this thing was protecting. Like there's definitely something we need to check out down here. There's also another desk over here with some stuff on it. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I am worried about whatever this is. Yeah, so, well, we don't know yeah. actually what it is, just bad. He said it was used multiple times, too, so that's kind of... It, it yeah. can't be, like, a big boss summoning. It must be, like, some yeah. small little like nymphs or something. Like fire methods or whatever they are. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it could be dangerous. Yeah, who knows? But, uh, you know, risk-taking. <laughs> I'll take a risk, man. Yeah, I didn't want to jump into that door because I was like, if I jump yeah. into the door, then it, then Ellie wouldn't be able to attack. Yeah, it's kind of like once you get in there, you if you stay there, then you're blocking people shooting in. Yeah. It's... But if you want to get back out, then you're taking attacks of opportunity, maybe. So it's kind of exactly. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. It was probably the best way to do this anyway, is just to wait until I got in here and we could just take free shots at it. Yeah, yeah the, the can trip I took, I didn't realize only had a 
it has like an AOE effect, and I can be selective about it, but it's only a 15 foot distance. And this thing was 25 feet away, so I was like, uh, I'm useless now. <laughs> I think technically using a hold action on a spell uses your concentration. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, if I don't know. Use, I think if you hold action on a spell, it uses the concentration. So if it would have dropped, bless, I think, but whatever. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. oh my God. You guys are welcome for the bless. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh yeah, bless is awesome. See, he did contribute to the final. Yeah, I was just sitting down, blessing you guys the whole entire time. Yeah. You will not miss. <laughs> Except we still did. <laughs> what are you guys oh, doing? <laughs> yeah, the beginning, but then we all did good. Yeah. Big hits in there. Yeah, some big hits. That was probably one of the lowest crits ever, though. Yeah. <laughs> it all turned out pretty good. Yeah. My armor's actually working this time. <laughs> we got a whole genie vessel full of expensive alcohol, meat, and magic invisible Fred. Oh, yeah. So what else do you got in there? If you want to share. Just some stuff. I don't know if it's sure. Can, can we all jump into your genie bottle and just start drinking in there? Is that the rest of this game? Not at this <laughs> level, but eventually, yes. Eventually, yeah. Hmm. As, I forget what level it is, but I think it's five or nine, something like that, somewhere around there. Can you it's set up the nine spectrum? Yeah. Can you distill and set oh, up the carcass happy. inside so that way when we pour the genie or just tilt the <laughs> ring a little bit, we can all just drink? If I can continue acquiring things and bringing them in there through various methods, um, I, I think you can do whatever you want in there, honestly. Okay. It just depends if on, on how I get things inside of it. Oh, uh, last the question about the uh, genie lamp then. When you bring things in there, is time stasis or for things, or do they still decay? So it's interesting because when things go in there, time is dependent. Um, I broke the DM. No, it's like, I know these things, but I'm trying to figure out how much to let you guys figure out so soon. But for pills, pills would understand it. it. Pills would understand. I'm trying, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out like, I'm trying to remember where we, where the beginner knowledge is because these things grow. Genies are just everyone chooses a genie. Every campaign has a genie. It's like a thing. So I had to oh. flush them out. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. And I, did you choose Dow also? Yeah, Dow. So. Yeah, yeah. They all they're, everyone's a Dow genie. Yeah. Okay. Um, everyone has a Miss Ellie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say that you understand that time there is slower when it's things non-living. But for things that live, it depends on the purpose of being inside. For you, it's non, non applied. Where you are and where you aren't is the same. But when you are with all of your party, that's when things change. Can I uh, inspect this barrel right here and uh, figure out what it's made out of? Absolutely, it is a beautiful oak. You see that it's very dry. It has a moist in some time. Uh, actually, the metal bindings are loose. Uh, they left the odd imprinting. Uh, you'd imagine it could swell oh. again. Well cared for. It's it, like it's it's like a it, it's functional, but it's not kept. Do you want to uh, use this barrel to uh, contain your alcohol to uh, let it age for fun? He's not here. <laughs> oh no, I can hear. Oh yeah, right. You can yeah. hear. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, he has like windows. It's like a weird though. yeah submarine. Like he just has like a like an intercom of what's happening around him. Oh, I guess he can't talk to us. Yeah, that's right. I can hear you, but I can't. I can't communicate back out. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> what he could do just for fun, because he has that ring, he could be putting a message in there and putting his finger, his hand out the window, just to like communicate with you guys in a like delayed calm. If you wish to do it that way, I, but otherwise, I, the I ring just is leave those floor. that note and I cast mend on the barrel for anything that was damaged on the barrel. Okay, as you cast Mend on it, you nice. see that the metal bindings around begin to tighten themselves in. 
rebind that to the planks. You see the planks where there were small little slits or little openings where the dung hole or where the bunk hole was. Sorry. Uh, you see that there's this like, um, you know, closure where the splits and the the wood itself would just kind of like greenly age now rejuvenating. Sweet. It probably adds at least 10 more pounds to the barrel itself back to its original state. All right. I put the his ring, the genie ring, right on top of the barrel, and I just tap, put tap the ring. Like there you go, you're good to go. And I just start walking towards the gate, see what's on the other side. You just feel like a soft pod. <laughs> In order for it to work, you do got to be out of it, but you do understand <laughs> their yeah. intentions. Yeah, so I just, how they use I just your I'll just leave him, <laughs> leave him to it. <laughs> Hazel, you want to check out the back room here while he's uh, doing whatever. In the in the genie form. So I I detach all the rope and then I like okay. sand oozes out of the ring and like this cloud and then it reforms with the ring on my hand. I'm sitting on top of the barrel. Um, great idea, fantastic. One problem. Um, uh, I can't do this again until tomorrow. We'll find you another barrel then. <laughs> we'll find you another barrel. That's cool. I'm sure other people would have appreciated that, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so do you see something out here? I don't know. Do I see anything? So else? as you guys are heading out that way, it's a little off-screen, non-visual map at this moment. Okay. As you guys notice that the surroundings around you begin to expand and birth in a way that is a bit more natural. It's no longer perfectly carved or chiseled. It's almost burrowed purposefully by a creature, not something that was going about their daily purpose of, I'm going to lead you here, but what's this way? As you follow these nice, fleshly grooved walls of stone, and you go only deeper and deeper, you feel that there's slowly a ventilation of Compressed heat, not in a forceful pressure mannerism, but just huh. if Pills thought he was swelting, <laughs> it's only going to get chaffing swiftly. Or chafing, I guess, depending on how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm a Goliath, so I'm not wearing anything to shape. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hazel, do you think we should continue going or turn back? I think we should turn back and look if we find something more down there. I mean, I didn't like it there, but maybe we find some more hints. Okay. Let's make oh, you guys need perception checks. Oh. Or you two, I guess. You two real quick while so, Pills is... While we were over there? Okay. Yes, yeah, since you guys are technically doing like a little pre-scout. Mm. Oh yeah, I popped back out. I'm sitting on the barrel. You got it. Oh, You're yeah. sitting on the barrel. Oh my here. gosh. As you see your allies heading on back in. You know, they felt really hot. You guys felt the heat. There was like this like odd kind of, you don't know if it was like an echoing or a multi popping bubble or a rock or what, but there was something, something permitting noise ahead. But the compression of heat made you feel a little uneasy as you arrive back to Pills to report. Something of noise out there. That's what you said. Correct. So I'm over here, but I'm a risk taker. I'll venture in further. Does anyone else join him as you see him kind of do a double take? Like, I'm okay, I'm going back. Take a risk and I check would, this out for you guys. I would uh, join them, but uh, I think my token's gone. You're just invisible. So you join them. I'll bring it back in a second. I'm, I forgot to wall the other map. Um, so you join them, Pills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like the idea of adventure and risks as you all... Uh, Hazel, do you wait? Or do you go with them? Oh, man. I'm just next to Rob. Okay, so you, you're going to... like, But you would stay accompanying them if they go back? Yeah. Okay. You guys all unintentionally wound up and head on out. As you do. Whew. Pills, when they said it was getting hot, yeah. 
they, they left out the details of how hot, which was very hot, much hotter than where you already were, but it's okay. Okay, oh, it's kidding. <laughs> you make it through, <laughs> and you kind of swelt a little, but like I said, this is the way. Give me a perception check as you venture further. Oh, so we're not going down that way. We're going back towards the uh, yeah the bottom right. Hmm? Oh, we're sorry. Where were you? We're, oh, we're I took the I line. took the chance of venturing forward more into the uh, the heat. So I'm actually still over. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you guys I don't have to join me. Oh. Yeah, I apologize. You guys don't have to join oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> Visual oh. mislead. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I'm over yeah. here. I here, that's fine. No, you guys um, can keep. You guys can go check out the lat or the the documents are south of that, like we talked about. But based on his description, I'm just curious. Um, I'll be back to get come get you guys. Don't I worry. Think we should split up. Oh, okay. I guess we, no, I guess okay. We you guys are. It, I'll no, follow no, you no. guys. You guys are the no, one hiring me. No, we can we can take a look. We can go over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you follow them. As you do, you yourself don't hear these weird noises they're talking about. You think it's just you guys whispering amongst each other as these weird echoes, and then Miss Ellie's <laughs> low moans and breaths echoing throughout the general tunnels. You think that perhaps it's just reverberating and causing that nuance. Of I let out the smallest, <laughs> silentest fart. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing identifiable out of all these odd noises is that. <laughs> you hear music ahead you get the the, the mumba going <laughs> um, i'm just saying i got on my, my thursday group one of them is a yawn tea that has ibs okay oh my god <laughs> and it's gone south almost 80 percent of the time so <laughs> One of the players had a shower that's not golden, and we just won't get further into that. But no. it was something oh. special. <laughs> it's there. Go check it out. <laughs> Anyways, you guys make the funniest jokes because they're so relatable <laughs> to what happens on a, on a weekly with my group. And I'm just like, these guys are just fitting so well. Um, as you guys pass through, as you hear that little rip, everything gets quiet for the first time. Not even the fire crickets that were down here making music with you guys, because it's playing anymore. Everyone took a time to blame and point silently at one another. Sorry, that was me. And then you hear it. Now, I don't remember the voice I used last time, but you hear the familiar fiendish undertone. Hmm. And it's echoing, so imagine it not super close, and you guys are kind of like trying to play telephone with it. So, you're telling me that it's not where it's supposed to be. They beat us to it. Those mingly little maggots want to strip each single one, scale for scale, all the way to the tail, and then watch and see if it regrows. Rumor is those little... <laughs> I will get that artifact back as the employer paid handsomely for our services. We will let that thief pull what I promised. He showed us the way here. It's not his fault they got here first. Then you guys hear nothing after a long pause. Up ahead, it's dark. You don't make anything out initially, but you do hear the movements as if it's coming from some kind of opening below. Like up ahead, there's maybe another hole or something peeking down or exposing to. Okay. I think it's time to go backwards now. And just to clarify, that sounded like the fiend you sized up. Yeah. yeah. I think you were using the Cobalt's voice. I th I was I was complaining was about the talking cobalt. about yeah yeah. Off the cobalt. yeah I didn't have a chance to go back I was like fuck I only uh, used the I forgot yeah. his voice <laughs> but no don't worry about yeah, it um 
as we make our way back over here, um, wanted to just uh, see, is, is there anything that we can see over here against yeah, this wall? Yeah, you see in here some electric conduits. Oh, okay. So this is not a, a wall. This is a door doorway. Is that correct? Uh, this right here. Uh, to you, it sure looks like a wall, but you see an opening here of conduits. So oh, you look see. at the stone wall now, and you now notice that. Give me an insight check. Ooh, all right. Hazel goes, huh, there's these weird little torches unlit here, as if there was something present before us. Uh, as Rath kind of looks at it. Go ahead. <laughs> Is this really a wall? I mean... You know what? I'm just gonna take a look over here. I just gotta. You got it. Pills, where are you at? Where you? I, oh, you're... oh, whoops! I made you invisible. Stop I'm hiding. Hiding. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. He's, he's got a new spell. Invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm never going out of my room. It's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> Magic items can't be destroyed in lava. Uh, as you guys peek over, you realize that it looks like. In the Why best, the <laughs> in the best description possible, oh, yes. a hub, uh, energy hub of sorts. Now you guys wouldn't know how it's worked, what its purpose for, where it's going, but the function remains similar to what you've seen on the surface level. It's multiple conduits focusing the energy of their ideal goal here, which seems to, you're not. So what's interesting here is you're not sure if the heat is being gathered for heat or if it's being gathered as a energy turbine of some other sort. You don't know what purpose the magma is actually playing in all of this, because you don't know where it's going, what it's feeling. Uh, now that you're seeing electricity down here, it's even weirder because, well, I mean, nothing wrong with it, just weird. It's not a normally seen factor, unless it's living magic. Can we jump over this um, river? Okay. I would like to try. You step Let's with your see. long leg and stick it on the other side of that pole. Boom. And each stretch and reach your toes as a Goliath. And just end up tying your shoes on the other end. And as you stand up, you realize you're there. <laughs> now, Pills definitely can't pull that <laughs> off. But... <laughs> um, can I... <laughs> Can I, you can uh, with, with Fred them. legs, can I just, like, pick him up yeah, yeah, and yeah, just absolutely. put him down to the other yeah, side? Yeah, transport your allies <laughs> over. Or, or sit on Alice's back and she's jumping over there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Just, I'll just ride her. Uh, there you go, yeah, she's just... You know, they have great <laughs> jumping abilities. They have, they have that long jump. Oh, we need to get a saddle for fan. Ellie. Yeah, we'll have to put a, well, like a, like a war saddle on him. That'd be cool. I dig it. We'll work on that. Yeah, you guys have to find one. There you go. I like that even better. You guys craft it. As you jump over, you find a little Kovacac pocket of more papers and desks, chests, hammers, and what looks to be some kind of spheric-like item. You're not sure whether it's an ammunitional purpose or other... You imagine it not being here as a paperweight. Let's put that way. Is this a chest down there? There are multiple chests, yes. There are three total. Like, where is Hazel standing? Can she oh, place this little, in here? Yeah. yeah. So, Hazel's looking in, or Allie? Oh, Hazel, sorry. Hazel, Hazel go ahead and give me an investigation check. Wrath, what are you doing? I'm gonna check for traps on this uh, yeah. other chest. You wanna go ahead and give me an investigation on the other chest? Absolutely. Hazel, your chest is actually detrapped already. There was a pull string on the drawer originally, but it looks like it's been nipped. You look inside and all the layers are untouched, which is even more curious because your investigation doesn't cover magic. The insurances are only physical in nature. It has been tampered with, but unstolen or thieved or pilfered, depending on the word you like to choose. Wrath. You go around and you find something of similarity. The difference is, though, for yours is it was left unsolved. You see old fingerprints and traces, dust lines that are nowhere near as thick or heavy as those that have been there lingering longer. It's as if someone had fiddled with three switches, but you see four. Hmm. Interesting. Can I try to figure out the code or... How do you do so? 
you just press buttons like a really bad typer on a keyboard or i was thinking you know, about that <laughs> do you just mathematically stare at it and all of a sudden something just clicks inside let's go with the latter <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and roll an intelligence check all Curious, right. what do you do as you look at the table and you see more new letters written in the same writing of that of the previous foreman I guess I'm just looking at the document, seeing if there's anything that describes anything that's here of what's going it on. It talks here. about the magic footholds placed down on the wood crafts provided to them. Inside the generator room, there is a insignia. This insignia allows people to come and go. However, it's been fidgety lately. People are able to get out, but no one knows where they end up. People are able to come in freely as expected. Since the last person left, the notes state, the conduit will hold for at least six months. After six months from this time, which you see are three months and a week at this point, so whoever it is stayed for a while to see if there was any fixtures going on about this issue. The glyph within the conduit's holding room will still be active. I do not know where I will go. I understand that doing this, I will hopefully join my brethren wherever they venture to us. I leave behind our greatest works, including the vessels used to row through the magma to the molten center. They're enchanted. Though they look wood, they will not burn. This is the only gift I can give to those who find my work. Inside the molten core, unless you can withstand the heat, you best not venture. Signed, Zeref, Ignis. Sign what? It for you. I'll type it for you. Zeref, that's a uh, name that was dropped you last week. Yeah, I can't remember, but I don't know. That was the guy, the baker, who said Zeref would be proud of you. For when we were trying to steal the other poking stick. That was something, yeah. And he also said that the other was not like so because you brought up such great memory, you guys as a team would recollect that he also stated that if you stole the other item in which he was trying to sell or insist on it, it would not be for you, but he would be curious on what would happen. You guys chose not to. And then he congratulated you and informed you of Sarah's greeting. The first signature you see for the first time out of the foreman, other than the fact that you knew it was the foreman's notes, is this signature. You have never known a full name, but now you assume do have one. Is this the same one? Uncertain. Though the name seems to linger often enough to be oddly multiple named individuals. Is that for your backstory? Give me an insight there? check. I'm just, well, no, so I mean, hold on. Let me do this. So in the first session, there was also a name drop, too. Oh, so okay. Gotcha. You, you didn't miss, you did miss their, their introductory to class. There was a, uh, nope. yeah, so there was a, an entire earthquake event that happened at town. Gotcha. Causing all oh, kinds of chasms absolutely. within the ground. They were trying, they were about to get robbed by Pete the Thief. But mm. when the bears showed up, they didn't know how to handle the bears, so they let them go and said, Hi, I'm Pete. I'm a thief. And they said, We're so sorry for trying to rob you, but we'll let you go. And they walked off. Um, yeah, Miss Ellie looked really good in front of them for a cool minute. And then they went to a bar, and at that bar, they bought the Ultimate Deluxe Derby package, which basically gave uh, Pills the means to interrogate anyone in a private matter. Otherwise, you didn't miss too much. Okay. Cool. Pills, was there a uh, clarification in which you wanted to um, state as you were overlooking? Oh, yeah, I shot it to you on Discord. Mm -hmm. so All right. Private. Go ahead, Ra. Oh, um, I rolled a 11 on the, the chest. Ah, got it. I mean, oh common sense says they didn't press the fourth one. All right, I'll press the fourth one. <laughs> Something happened. Uh, it seems to have let out some kind of breath of air. I wanted to turn around and fart back. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like Aladdin. Still good. 
<laughs> um, let's see here. I'll take the poking stick and I'll just lift the lid up. You take the poking stick and you kind of wiggle it in there. And... Man, God, thank God this stick is so sturdy because it's able to like bring it up. But now, mind you, it's an uncomfortable length. So instead of it being a foot, it's like. 15 inches and an odd after so you're kind of like you're, you're never like a standard five ten foot array away from something <laughs> so like if something were to happen it's always like would it really hit me yes it's absolutely gonna hit you because i made the stick that way but just so you're aware it always feels funny when you do it you're like man this is just never an arm's length right but you <laughs> whip it open you see inside hmm. A small little oddly woven mitt made out of these unique tough hides. As you kind of feel them and feel the little spindles of hairs, you're like, oh, these were used from like the spiders that you were fighting previously. It's old, it's aged. Hmm. It's like a glove of sorts, like a catching kit. The hmm. ball itself is made out of an obsidian. It's not materials of matching. It's Actually, looking just like the ones on the table next to that. Next to, next to pills. No, next to you. Oh, okay. Cool. I will take both of them, and I will put the glove on, and see if put it fits. The glove on, and the thumb is a little tight. It could definitely use a little loosening on the uh, knitting or threading or however it is you wish to describe it at this point in your possession. But uh, you get the rest of the fingers in because it turns out whoever had it had a fat hand. The thumb oh. was just, you know, not the same size. That's that's just the bigger difference is that they have fat fingers, not a fat thumb. Odd. Uh, as such, what do you do with it? Uh, I hold the ball with the... Uh, and, oh, and with the gloves. The glove ball. Impressively light. Though the ball looks solid, you can't see through it. It's very opaque in nature, very naturally shine with any kind of glimmer of light that might ricochet off of it. Very polished. It's not hardened or edged in any way. There's no holes. You can't bowl. Hmm. Uh, if, I, if I hold this in with my regular non-gloved hand, would it, the weight change? You toss it in to the other hand and give me a strength save. You guys see Wrath have a childhood moment Five, as he sticks his hand in this weird kind of weaved hairiness it looks like a skunk's <laughs> ass for a brief moment because he didn't ask what it looked like from the start and as it's striped he kind of like brushes it and he is holding a ball at one point and then he tosses it in the other and you just see him fly forward as luckily he's over the table and on the table just just crushes are you, are you right or left-handed as right i am right-handed crushes your left hand, because I assume the gloves on your right, or is your glove on your right? How do you? I mean, sorry, your left. How, how is your predominance? Uh, I'll right? probably have the glove on my right. So you crush your left hand as you do so. It you're just like oh, you take a unexpected D8 worth of damage, oh. dealing five. I'm glad I leveled up. As it just <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you kind of like spaz for a second where you're just like in shock like oh, what did i just do and then you quickly just with ease pick it up with the glove hand. oh wow that shit hurt like it's gonna feel it tomorrow long rest short rest a couple rests nothing a short rest can't kill <laughs> well uh i found out what this glove does it's to pick up really heavy balls guys <laughs> Pills, oh. you see that? <laughs> <laughs> really heavy. Balls. You really understand pills compared to your uneducated Neanderthals with you. That this is an, prof this is a uh, sorry refined ore. <laughs> All right, refined balls. <laughs> As I just keep. <laughs> you hear like this weird scrape from the odd kind of like spider spin wings that are still on the gloves. Huh. How far can you throw one of those? I don't know. Um, 
Can I try first? Can I try picking up the ball, the four balls that are on the or? With one I guess blade? I would go to each of the four balls on the oh, table. Just to test them. Yeah, just to test them with my regular hand or my semi or fully crushed hand. Mm-hmm. If you're now very are... painfully incapable of lifting them because you have broken fractures and bones in them. Yeah, uh, they all feel fucking heavy. Okay, and then I'll. And use the... every time you touch one, it does d4. So you touched all of them. I'm gonna give you 44. Sounds right. Holy shit. What it's kind of like that, like passive, non nuance, like. And then when you go to like look at your hand, you can't close it anymore because you really stressed it out, and you're just like, oh, oh, guys, I'm dead I, can, I can hold them with this, but oh my, <laughs> my hand is really hurting. Like, like it's just like this weird cursing pain that is like unnecessary, but done to or Hey, Wait, did I just crush my hands four times, or did I just because I was no, trying just, to pick it up? To, as you, t- you didn't feel oh, it right wow. away, but it was just kind of like a ripple residual. As, oh wow! Like, okay. You then are like, oh, I, I flexed it four times, and then I heard it after using it continuously. Oh wow! Okay. Let me see. I don't know. <laughs> Rath, give me a medicine check as you look at your well-being, and you're just like, holy shit, what is wrong with my hand? And you go to kind of like softly feel it, and you absolutely know that you fractured at least five of the little bones inside the palm when you drop the ball on it. Okay. Your function to do this is 100% of damage die every time, considering that this is all broken. Okay. And now you know. Yeah, it makes sense. You went through all the pain, and you're like, huh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do this with the other ball. <laughs> I can. I can like, why is it? Um, do, you, do we need to take a, a break here? I guess we should do a break. That might be nice. It's either that or I uh, cast lay lay lay, no, hand, no, lay on no, hands. No, 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 lay no. hands. Just make sure you use your good hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you guys, but you don't have to do that. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, Pills, as you see him doing this, uh, Hazel, you see him doing this. Hazel, give me a uh, nature check to see. For Hazel and her unique upbringing, she recognizes the odd use of animal parts that, for her kin, is normal. It's very. It's not abnormal to use glands of creatures, you know, beyond just the leathers, but the strands and the internal. Uh, indigestions, but this is different. She's never seen someone make a glove of a spider's husk in this way and for it to have that benefit. But then as she sits there and she weighs the understanding of massive mineral, spider husk, the creatures themselves are able to hold masses of weight before being crushed. They're able to compress themselves and beyond PSIs of the weight in which they would hold or be hit by without being crushed. Is it to understand that someone has figured out how to use the bestial natures of a living creature inanimately? Pills. Your master didn't have any of these. God, if you had one of these gloves, it would make your job picking up the ingots when people brought their tits way easier when you pulled them out of the chest. My God, if you didn't have to have a sprain or a charley horse after you finished emptying someone's tith of 150 silver ingots, God, would you not be pleased? But no. Huh. You couldn't even tip it over because it was so heavy. But here we are. You should hold on to that. I think I will. You could let me hold on to it. Uh, I think I will take the risk. Um, did we open all the chests that were here? I think you said there was three. We opened two. There was mm-hmm. another one here um, that Hazel was looking at. Right. The, the trap had been sprung. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not sprung. The contents are... St- but no, the trap was disarmed. The yeah. But yeah. the contents but, are still within. Yeah, which is odd. Mm-hmm. And the third uh, is not yet tempered. I'm going to pocket those papers, by the way. You got it. You pocket them for future reference. I will provide you special documentation. Do you think you can bring these ores into your... uh, Oh, wait. You can't bring it into your genie. Do it, yeah. Um, Uh, That would have been... 
So you just want to hold on to those balls. Um, <laughs> can I? How how big are these balls in comparison to my ginormous hand? I guess as a glass. I'd say you can hold three, four pushing it comfortably. Not not even. I mean, three comfortably, four pushing it, and that's more uh, of a balance nature because they're very polished and. I would say you notice while holding them with this glove that their, their fluid movement of friction does not seem to track. Hmm. They move smoothly okay. along the glove. Like if you were to like do that little fancy twirl of three balls with this glove on, they'd almost move in unison of without any difficulty. Though with another hand, you'd hear and feel the porous natures of whatever flaws there may or may not be. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's almost like a stack glove. Are there weapons here too? There's a hammer. Can I pick it up? And you pick it up. It is. It? Uh, it's a double-ended hammer. That would they what they call a maul, in the sense of weapon. Oh. Standard and basic in every nature, well built, not broken, not the in cared for. Do you, we think we need one of these? Uh, you know, not my, um, not my preference, but if you want to smack some people in the head with it, that's, you know. I'm okay, I'm fine with my lance. We could tape it to, to Ellie's paw. Tape it, I don't know, we could, we could tie it to Ellie's paw. He's the, you know. <laughs> Was it universal solvent? <laughs> and I'll take three, three balls <laughs> in one hand for now. Okay, so you're choosing to carry three balls while you have this gloved hand. What that means is your lance is a single-handed item for your strength level. You could chuck it, you could stab with it, but you cannot two-hand attack with it if it has a versatility. On top of that, anything you do, you're using which hand as your holding hand? Ah, uh, he he he. Um, I would be using my broken hand, but now, for now I'll put the give me an, give me an intelligence away. check. Give me an intelligence check. Okay. Your hand's broken, but the glove mm -hmm. does magic. Oh. I see what you're saying. Picking up what you're putting down. Intelligence. I, I am not picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> you look at the glove. You look at the glove holding three balls on your fine, perfectly working hand. And you're like, well, it makes sense to keep the glove on the hand that's not broken. Confirmed. Makes sense. Your broken head is not carrying a spear. If it is, it's a disadvantage. That's all. You can still use it. Okay. Um, it's just in hindrance. Gotcha. Um, you no longer take any damage from the pain. You just kind of suck it up at this point. It's just like a constant spring. Um, can I investigate his chest? Yeah. Was yeah. How do you like visual. when you say investigate? What is what, what? What are you curious of? What are you worried about? What are you wary? What are you not touching? What are you trying to figure? If we've noticed that the trap has been disabled, but mm -hmm. that it looks like none of the contents have been removed or disturbed, I'm immediately suspicious. So I'm looking for any further kind of mechanism exit traps that might be like pills. You have unlocked a special ability. We are calling it Sherlock. What Sherlock does it lets you homes in, pun intended, into the scene in which you are at. You've served Lord Varys for a very long time. You've seen the shady dealings. You've understood the ridiculousness in the tasks at hand and the unsavory results of the servants' servitude. As such, you understand that things were more of a facade. When things looked good to you, God, they really looked perfect. But until you finally broke out from under the thumb, did you see it that way? It was always a facade. You look at Hazel. You look back at this box. At advantage, give me an arcana check. The trap is a fake disabled trap with the goods inside. As you look carefully, you see that it is not any of the things that you both witnessed. In fact, everyone here saw. To everyone, including yourself, it begins to fizzle off. 
You see that as a little mouse trap inside, and it says "ha" with a little note on it. <laughs> it's been looted. Oh, it's been looted. Huh? It was a trap in waiting. So somebody like broke into it, took the stuff, and then put another trap inside of it. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, they couldn't get into the one that Roth figured out. Yeah. Poor Thlatch. Idiots. Just push the fourth button. <laughs> Didn't want to take a risk. It wasn't obvious. Okay. There's a third chest. You all look at it. Hmm. Do we ignore it? Or do we address no. it? We this is the mimic. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How sturdy are these chests? Just curious. They are stand. Uh, they are what you would understand as well. Sorry, <clears throat> they're standard, but standard in a, a quality tier three, which would be a iron wrapped chest. Uh, it would have iron bands. It is made out of sturdy wood. They probably weigh themselves empty, sitting around fifty to sixty-five pounds each. They can carry a total of 150 pounds comfortably. Depending on the substance, it can carry actually 400 pounds without bursting. Hmm. Do we want to just break it with the poking stick? Um, is it so? How is it closed? Is there like a padlock? Is it like a? It is. It is, oh, it is not, not a sealed. So it's not like a lock in any way. It's just a padlock. You just got to lift it. There is no lock there. As you guys. Be, through all your investigations and your general instances here, including Miss Alley, go ahead and give me a, uh, um, a perception for Alley at advantage because they have keen smell. She's like, <laughs> she sees you guys all just kind of screwing around and she starts just sniffing the ground just to get a little vibe of the uh -huh. scene here. Perception. perception. Oh. She too. No one. No one finds a lock. It doesn't seem as if it ever had one. It's just the pad on the latch, it's waiting to be unlatched. I could throw this rock at it or this ball. <laughs> well, if it doesn't look like it's locked, then I guess I'll go for it. I will very gingerly lift the little clasp. You go gingerly. Give me a sleight of hand as you grasp it, and you're like, oh. you wince. You're not sure if it's going to feel it from the back or from the front or from where your fingers touch it. That's the best part about magic. You just don't know what's going to happen. You lift up the latch. It's now 100% pointing up, no longer blocking the opening of potential lifting, which will cause a crease. That will show you what may be within if you continue to. Do I see any other? Do I see anything on the outside that looks threatening? Give me a perception check. As you lift it, you look around. It's very neatly adorned with basic carvings. There is no branding it's a knockoff for sure it's real wood real iron because they clearly have the resources down here from what you can tell should i help you pilt hazel help comes you? in for a save yeah what do you choose to do hazel to assist him as you see that he's hesitant he's not only hesitant he's fighting himself in indecisiveness of whether or not to go all the way as wrath is standing there in anxiousness but he has a broken hand and can't help Okay, I will try to lift it. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna lift it up. Hazel and pills just go ahead and both of you give me perception checks. <laughs> nice. Huh. Hazel, you give me a con saving throw as pills lifts it up, and you guys see this just like small plume arise. You're too small pills for it to get to your nose level. As Hazel just... <clears throat> you see her pause for a second. <clears throat> she catches a breath. She makes the save at a 14. 
Man, Hazel's a tough cookie. She holds steadfast. Hazel, you smell this just old spoiled decay of flesh for the first time down here. Uncared for, undried. As you just see worms and maggots fresh inside in this corpse that's now part skeleton, part not. There's like blobs of where there should be a full substance of skin and connectors of muscles but overall the only thing that's left making it clear that this was a humanoid and suspect is the hair patches just left like someone got a haircut and it wasn't sweeped up in time and with you opening and introducing new air it just kind of got everywhere in fact pills you now see a dead person's body in there and you look at yourself and half of them is on you you're like oh. but hazel you're not poisoned. You're not harmed. You open a trap chest by triggering the trap. Success. I uh, I take my trowel and start kind of like digging around in there, looking if there's any valuables start. that were left behind. As you touch it with the trowel, you immediately see the maggots avoid it in every possible way, almost magically sensing that your trowel is unique in a, in a manner that is untold by others. But as you touch the gooey, gooey malnourished individual inside you just <laughs> you move it around and you realize that it is covering the secrets below how do you guys remove the body i just start scooping it out i'll try just start scooping it out Popping it on the ground. Slowly and surely, Pills gets it out of there. It probably takes a whole's worth of seasons and TV shows and movies, but we'll say it only took 10 minutes. <laughs> you pull it out, and it's not your name backwards. I assure you that. But inside is a small little parcel. It's wrapped with twine that you've never seen origination from. To all of you, it's Fiber-ish, but in a hotness that you can almost hear the strain as you move the item as if it's livingly kind of giving that kind of whine of tension ready to snap at any moment. It's probably no more than a foot and a half square dimension. Is it like it's a bag or what was it? A parcel, a package. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. But the wound, like what, like the the wine, like the twine, I guess would be the proper descriptive, used to to wrap it up, seems very taut, and it almost sounds like you can hear it upon moving it. You can hear the waning and waning of this, as if it was a rubber band about to snap. Um, is the the cord or like the wire? Yeah. Is it? Uh, what do we do? We know what it's made out of, or is it? No, that was what I was trying to describe to you guys. It's like an alien in nature. Not, I mean, it's not super alien in nature. It's just like a known source. Uh, you understand that it's being used as a rope. It's not the filament that you guys would have gotten from your beautiful species. You just. Uh, harvested in almost 80% completion. Um, but it, it's another type of unknown, never before considered created resource that doesn't clearly exist. Uh, I will very carefully try and undo the twine from around the parcel. Do you do it in a way of hands on? Like, yeah, like I'm trying but to. But in like, a way where you're physically using your hands or you're using utensils of an item of a thieves' kit to disarm. Um, I should be proficient in thieves' kits, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Where did my proficiency so That's a good question. I don't know if you would have chose that. 
you are not proficient in thieves. I'm not, uh, not that I see, at least. Um, let me see. Nope, disguise and forgery. Interesting yeah. choices. Are any of you guys potentially proficient in thieves kits? I don't think I am. Hazel? Uh, you're weavers and leathers. No, yeah, she doesn't have it either. Nope. Uh, so you're hands-on physical. So go ahead and give me an investigation check as you go to... Oh, nope, sorry, sleight of hand. As you sleight of hand the best as possible with your fingers, this... Not because you touch this substance, it's smooth. Oh, the god, it almost has this odd natural lubricant. It's it's mentally impossible how it could be knotted with how lubricated it is with your touching of it. Though, when you get to the knot, as you go to push it across, it's like a lock, nothing. You have a wrapped parcel. I guess I'd try to shove the trowel in there and cut it. Give me an attack check with the trowel. You attack it. You guys see Pills in frustration, incapable of undoing the knot. Attack it with his spade. With his yes, this is how you open it. You just... <laughs> as you hit it, you guys all hear a thing. Oh no, I wanted to slide. Oh, sorry. Like, you want to be nice about it. You want to be nice. You go, oh, 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 yeah. okay. You go against the twine. You, you kind of rub it real slow. You're just trying to like grasp the properties of this rope, right? Twine, rope, thread. Oh, at this point, I'm just trying to cut it. Just like slice it open. Like that. Success. It's thick. It's tight. It almost has like. Said so, Pills. You're a you're a man of the ground. You're a man of the ground. Down under. We don't mean from a continent that's not that's that's above the surface. We mean down under. And as such, sediment plays a key. And sedimency is when multiple natural elements come together and compound into a unique substance of toughness. The sedimency of this particular object as your trowel of ridiculous nature that can do anything can't cut leaves you curious even further it's like the ultimate amazon package what is inside did um can the... you come over here and try and pull on this this twine with your glove sure yeah i was about to say didn't uh, the baker say the poking stick is meant to unlock things? But I'm not sure. He uh, told you guys a ton of things the poking stick is meant to do. Alright. So, first I'll try the poking stick, because that's out of range. And do you, you poke it and just poke it? Or you poke it, use its command word? Um, probably first I'll just touch it first. And Touch see it. if there's any reaction. Same Nothing. as the trowel. Mm, should I do the command word? Do uh, the command those. word and... Or, uh, sorry, you're requesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> say the command Where? word then. As you say command word, do you try to, what do you do after you say it? Um, when I say the command word, I should still be able to hold it, right? You are or, at this time. Um... Is the string wrapped in like a you know how like you you would like a Christmas present like an overlapping bow kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a sense, is it, is it in just a crossing a, nature? Crossing. So it's more like a like a like a simple like a simple knot over a single crossing. Yeah. Okay, but is there is it just one row of string Correct. or is there? Okay. Yeah, um, it's a single it's a single just kind of like you know assumed multi threaded rope or okay. you know, twine. I'll I'll get creative later, um, so I'll take the uh, glove, yeah, mm -hmm. gloved hand, and I'll just try to. Un cool. un so as as un you grab the glove and, and you catch on to it, you realize that that odd oily surface doesn't apply. You manage to get a perfect textured grip on it, and it's almost like stuck, like like honey. You're just like, oh wow, this might work. Give me a strength check as you go to 
undo that knot. Oh no. This has not been very good tonight. It's kind of... You undo it. It's stuck to the glove. As you pull it off, you now have this long, probably three and a half foot worth of twine stuck to your glove. But a parcel unwrapped. Great. I'll pocket the, the rest of the thread into my okay. backpack. I will look into the parcel. You undo the parcel, and it is a box. Open the box. Inside is more scrolls. Ooh. You quickly pilfer through with your fingers like a, you know, librarian to find the right book on section 18 of the regulated observement of the 12th layer of the largest bookshelf. There's at least seven magical scrolls in here all written in giants. Ooh. I can read that if you would like to share. He actually can right. too. Oh, dang. I push him over and I read it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. For now. <laughs> Do we know what spells there? Uh, pills. You quickly pill for four of them. Blah, 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 four of them. Through them. <laughs> oh, my bad. And do you want another? Go ahead and give me a D100. Do you want another? Meanwhile, what are the rest of you guys doing? Can I look over his shoulder and take a look at the scrolls too? Yeah, give me a percentage check. Hazel? What do you do? I think you will also take a look over it. Nice. Go ahead and give me a survival check. Hazel, as you kind of take in your surroundings, you realize that every time you guys try to take a second to breathe, there's a hiccup. Oh, no. A hiccup. Hazel, things have been okay. It looks like it might be all right in general. However, there are two things you notice when you look over, out, over the shoulder of pills and your allies. Is Miss Ellie is no longer giving the focus to the team, but she seems to be off lost, focusing on something else. Do you inquire at all with with her in any way? Miss Ellie, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Um but she's standing next to me, or or is she yeah. just like? No, I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just I'm trying to think of like the most basic of communications. She would let you know that. I mean, I have this. What she smells? Animals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, but it's her intelligence, is what I'm just you know. It's her. Yeah. It's a bare yeah. intelligence because she's not awakened. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The. It should smell like brimstone, and it doesn't. Let me just put it that way. As you breathe, you realize that it's not full of sulfur. It's not difficult. It's not complicated. It's as if, though there's raw magma here, it's awfully decompressed air, meant to survive in. Anything this deep would require creatures of lung capacities or complexities that aren't are, are adapted for this kind of environment. But whether the machinery here presented cleanses it or if something else has been casted here, only Pills knows of the fireproof wooden boats that have yet to be discovered. I need Pills. Oh, you need Pills, huh? Yeah. The man from the under underground. Uh, yeah. That was in the Sorry, note that what? you found. Or from there, down you, under. You had found a... Um, <clears throat> back, something. That, whoops, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I was just kind of throwing that in there to remind that such thing exists. 
I'm jotting down the uh, items that you're pulling. I'm gonna tell you right now. How many items did I say? How many scrolls did I say it was? I forgot. Seven. Five. I think it was five. Oh, I don't remember if there was a count. It was. Just... I thought there were seven. Yeah, was seven. I'm gonna give you seven. There was uh, It sounds like some bullshit. I would have said. Yeah. Actually, uh, seven hundred. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's what the D100 okay. is for, right? So 28? <laughs> oh yeah, 2800. Uh, it's the tier It's the tier of uh, velocity. Um, I'm a very nice DM when it comes to giving little players two strong things. Because uh, I like to see you guys do ridiculous things. So, I will give you a full list afterwards. Um, pills, but you do... This is the official list. You find a, a scroll of Divine Ward, a scroll of Chain Lightning, a scroll of Command, Clairvoyance, uh, Wall of Stone, Pass. Pa hold on. Pass without a trace? One. No, I, I would have spelled trace. I'm not like the worst, but I. Pass gas. <laughs> That's for you. You know what? Let me check this one real quick. Scroll hold required. On. <laughs> um... <laughs> it's a ritual spell. Must wall. I've never heard of it. That's why I didn't recognize it. I, I, I scribbled like so. My writing's not like illiterate, like illiterate, but like that was a, that was a quick one. Uh, pass wall. Um, I've never I've never seen that spell in action before, so I don't know that one. But it's it's a thing. Yeah, pass wall. Um, and divine favor. These are all scrolls. I don't even know what that does. So I'll give you a full list. Uh, I'll type it to you shortly, and uh, otherwise. That is what you found in there. One, three chests down. Uh, you got a total set of notes. And now what do you guys do? I still feel like there's something about this wall, but um, I wasn't able to see anything. Do you guys want to check it out? With uh, that, pills, you do have information about such. Is there actually a door next to Miss Ellie? Or is this just like a small... There is no door there. But there was one where you guys were originally considered, but it was kind of like tossed, but ignored. So there was two lights that weren't lit or something? Correct. Are they like candle lights or are they just they like are, electrical they, lights? You know what? That's a great question because you saw electricity, you're curious, but it is just candle. Okay. Yeah, I'm going uh, to get on top of Ellie so she can jump me across the mm -hmm. I grab onto her fur as she jumps. Easy enough. <laughs> I think I see Tinderbox here? and just try to light the, the two lights. As you go Tinderboxing it, Pills, go ahead and give me an investigation check as Wrath, Risk Taker, goes and lights them as a risk. No questions asked. Super. Good thing because Pills has no fucking clue, anyways, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> they I both got this, light. Guys. And as they do, you need. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. It opens. Yeah. Yay. Inside, uh, you see really a glowing <laughs> platform, almost as if it's meant to step over and then a desk next to it. Further inside, you see what looks to be working platforms of sorts. Oh, Small mini that? anvils and other stools and benefits. Pills, the moment you, I... the case, you recognize, recognize it as a descriptive sense as... of what it was. Huh? This is the port. This is the random teleporter that was mis malfunctioning. Okay, this is what I heard in the letters. Yep, correct. What did it okay. say in the letters again about it? So, um, there's something wrong with this. I believe it. People can come in as normal, but it sends them back. To it, it can send them anywhere back. They don't know where it goes back to. So, so should we shouldn't enter it, it, or I don't we know. What? You, you know, there's no telling where it could go. We could just go through and end up in, you know, the middle of a a fight. Oh, uh, these are anvils. Or, you know, maybe on top. Yeah, of so those are, are mini workbenches. Like they have personal anvils. That, like it looked as if three individuals at one time worked here. This looks to be a personal foundry of sorts. Is there I anything? Go for it. Next. 
Hazel. Basic tools. You you personally with your giant's um, toolkit, you wouldn't need a pill for anything else. Hazel, what was that about, uh, Ellie? Uh, no, uh, can I open oh. the box like right next oh, to Hazel? Yeah, easily. Oh, yeah, okay. these are all just basic uh, nailed down boxes. You just pry them off. Do I find anything in there? Inside this one, you find basic necessities of uh, more... Like so, you see ball bearings. You see little sacks of what look to be um, powder. As you smell it, it definitely gives off sense of a of a mixture of sorts. Pills, you would know that these little sacks are gunpowder. Um, wrath, you wouldn't recognize gunpowder in any way whatsoever. Uh, I, honestly, I think pills would be the only one that knows what gunpowder is, being from the un, uh, being from below here. Uh, this be helpful. We should pocket this. You find gunpowder, ball bearings, uh, jacks. I literally mean jacks, like without the bouncy ball, just the little jacks themselves. Um, and at the very bottom, there's like a an acrylic container. I, I would describe it as uh, to you, Hazel. Oh, look, caltrops, the jacks. Correct. Thank you, caltrops. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Useful too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Caltrops, ball bearings, and gunpowder. Yeah, if you if you're not gonna take it, Hazel, I'll I'll share some with y'all. Okay. There's a shit ton. You guys can easily carry, I'd say each. Um I mean ball bearings and caltrops are super light, but for the gunpowder, because they're little sacks of like basically suit in a sense of descriptor. Um unless you guys have a way of padding them further. You guys can each carry five packs of them, but over travel, they would decline in in you know in quantity as they kind of like suit out because it's you know it's 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 an you know it's an ash in some sense. Uh, if you think about it, it's like a granular substance not properly wrapped or stored. This is definitely gunpowder raw, just thrown into like crappy non properly leather dried sacks. And then, how many ball bearings and cow traps crops do you? Can we get? I'd, I'd honestly, I'd give you guys each three, so basically three caltrops, three ball bearings, and five gunpowder each, is what I would say. And then uh, off session, I can go ahead and add all those to you, or passively right now while I'm DMing. You'll eventually see them pop up in your inventory. Oh, I already added caltrops for myself. You could just tack up the total then. Yeah. Perfect. You said nothing uh, special on these benches, just regular. Uh, you know, there's a mini anvil, just a bunch of shit too heavy to carry. Really, uh, okay. I mean, it's like it's like fuck. This is awesome. <laughs> this is a, this is a great great workstation <laughs> for three dudes, nice. but otherwise useless uh, as a whole um, at this time. Now that we're on this side of the electrical conduits, mm -hmm. do we know where it's going? Um. Or do we see where this lava? Oh, is I see what you're saying. Like, the, like, like the purpose of it, like the general, yeah, like meaning. Um, purpose, and then I guess, how is it generating electricity and purpose? Finishing Jesus, you guys have like nine thousand ball bearings in total because a single bag has a thousand. That's insane. Perfect. Well, there you go. Nine thousand mini, 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 mini tree ornaments about to. Drill down the stairs to see. Uh, yeah, so as you look around. Okay. So we're in our third session. I'm going to be real honest about how I run things as a DM. <laughs> I uh -oh. get five sessions of cushion where I nudge you guys to be creative, nudge you guys to question things, nudge your eyes to combine yourselves. Now, individually, you're playing your guys' characters to T. Now, Think of playing the uh, the old school app Doodle God. If any of you guys played it at any time, Doodle something. There's always an app called Doodle. And basically it was combining raw elements and creating a periodic table of things. You guys are the raw elements as players. Now, remember, you guys can help each other, aid each other, give advantage to one another just by saying I help them do something. Just by being in the same room saying he's the smartest one with this. Go up to Pills and say, hey, Pills. What do you think of this? Now, it's great when your character thinks this is the best idea, but I'll be honest, your character's not the best person to roll to figure out if this is what's happening in here. 
gotcha. lean in on each other's player uh, velocity of talents. You can help each other, but remember, the only rule I have is if you're not in the same room, you can't commit to each other. But because you're all three together in the same entity of a room, you guys can use each other to stack. And when I say stack, no combat, I'm going to use this spell and this spell and this spell to make this happen. Let's get crazy. You're in a room with curiosities. Each of you individually have the ability to figure it out, but together you can absolutely solve it. So far, you guys individually have been doing great. Now let's share the information as a team to see where you guys get to. Sounds good. So, Wrath, you're curious, but yeah. so far you've been a dumb dumb on figuring anything out intelligently. <laughs> so, if you really want to know how anything in here works, how would you present it to the team? Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> What's this doodad? <laughs> what, are you, so what, are you, what are you trying to figure out? Yeah, go, yeah exactly I, what are you doing? Um, like, uh, hey, Pills, uh, what's this electrical thing? Where is this... Uh, how does how does this work exactly? Do you is this part of your profession? Have I recognize do I recognize this as something that existed somewhere? So else? you understand a turbine. Yeah. This is a non water mill. You imagine you, you would name it a magma mill, though you know that's not the term for it. You don't know the actual verbiage, but this would be the same sibilance of a water mill. It is creating power, which you see is the electricity. But where it is going is the ultimate question. Does it is is this the ultimate utilities of clasp deep underground? And that's why no one's been here for three months. Totally makes sense. Cities don't care about their management. Or is this some underground system that was going on that suddenly disappeared? Is this an ancient civilization that no one knows lives underneath? That's the only thing you don't know, but you understand how it functions. Do we see where, are there any cables that lead out of these that we can... They all connect to each other. Okay. Yeah. All the cables go below ground. Okay. Which is crazier because anything below 5 to 10 meters with the surface is magma. But you, well, but you pills, no more. Um... So there might be something below us, um, and the reference back to the the papers. I think we can use we. I think people thing something can use these barrels to protect themselves from the magma and go into the magma, but. But it's still super hot, so I think you know we'd, we'd probably still probably die if we did that. <laughs> um, pills. As you quickly rifle through your scrolls, what are these? Uh, right, wooden boats don't burn in magma. That's the gist of it. You don't know what it means for you guys, but these boats are made out of wood and they're sitting in the magma, and they work to get to the core. Do we see boats? Not where you are. You guys went from one Kovasak to a room. But there's yeah. a big map. We can check out the rest of the map. Mm -hmm. yeah. Each of you guys give me a D100. And based off of that, I will present to you as much map as you guys would cover as a team full. Based off of everything you've already seen, you guys would cover any and all basis points that have it been undiscovered. There's the boat. Thinking of the How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> boats, boats, boats. As you guys eventually go about surfacing the area, you realize that ah, there's boat. either a cavern that there's a hole that leads to danger or boats that lead to sitting on top of magma like you're in Dante's Peak and not the ground. So, so we have three options, right? 
We can go through the tunnel we went to earlier where the, the fiend was. Mm -hmm. We can try and take these boats to wherever they go. Or we can hop on this teleport pad and go who the fuck knows where. Or we could follow the railroads, right? Yeah, I mean, no one questioned the railroads. <laughs> we could follow the railroads. The railroads. <laughs> right. Okay, so four. Technically five, I guess. There's two railroads. Um. Yes, you guys came from one direction, though, to be fair. So I'd be on the, the, the southern loop. Yeah, it'd be the southern loop that would probably... Yeah, you guys came from the pipe. Well, Two. what do you guys think? The boats sound super interesting, um, yeah. but getting stuck on the magma sounds awful. Um, I'm gonna let you guys discuss that. Teleporter sounds well, okay. The teleporter sounds like super uh, <laughs> fun. That's a risk. Yeah, that's a risk. But are we all landing on the same spot? Are we? we no. Yeah. If we stand on it together at the same time, maybe. Maybe but if we take we your rope up. and we just tie each other to together, that way we oh, are maybe. one entity. I don't know. But it, I mean, that could take us to like under the ocean or something. You know, like who knows what happens? Yeah. We could take us anywhere. Um, like immediate TPK. Um, I'm I'm so down the, for the, port the fiend, portal or the boat. Go ahead. The, uh, yeah, I was just the fiend is over there, and we don't want to mess with him. And he sounded angry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, he wasn't angry at us. He was angry at right. the kobolds. So right. he was friends with me because I showed him the entrance to this place. Um, and then there's the tracks. Yeah. Then there's the tracks. I'm for the boat of the portal. I'm in um, just uh... the boat. Shit says boat. I'm not gonna do boat. No. The You're tracks are kind of interesting. Maybe maybe we should investigate the tracks first and these mining equipments to see what's kind of in them. And if there's anything Maybe valuable in them. One of them and roll down. Yeah, because that's the thing, right? Is the the boat could be like a one way trip where the tracks we can go look at them and then come back to the boat. To be fair, Pills, you did read that the boats get you to the core and they're clearly uh, still here. So that means they would have gone and back. Fair enough. Okay. So it sounds like that's not a one way trip. Well, it depends on how well we, we do, I guess. Yeah, of course. Everything, <laughs> yeah. everything could be a no. one-way trip. You get, it, yeah. <laughs> you get exhausted halfway through. <laughs> do we have through. any sailors amongst us? Uh, I, I can know. be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> I'll take the risk. Oh, wait, yeah, you showed up on the dock, so I'm going to assume you know something there about There you go, yeah. <laughs> he you was on the road I, team. <laughs> I totally kid. <laughs> We have a um, so what do you want to do? Do we want to do the tracks or do we want to do the boats? Pills will jump in the portal. No. Boat. Wrath would also jump in the portal. No. Can you describe the portal to me? <laughs> yeah. It glyphs on the floor. It almost gives off this sigil that means nothing to you other than algorithms and shapes that have some kind of magical doodad at the end of the day. Pills, all of these things always go somewhere bad. Lord Varus had one and he said, if you like your life, never enter. And he would go in and when he did, he was never happy. He was always in a distraught embarrassment. For you, Hazel, you use plants for transport. You have seen trees open up and give birth to worlds beyond that you never knew existed as you walk through them. Portals, markings on the ground, distaste to nature is just a bane to the world. But you look at this one and you're like, it's hard, it's hard to hate because it's on raised and bezeled stone. Nature, tough. Furniture's allowed. So all they did was just ruin a good table. 
you know these things are never good when they're on the on on earth on you know nature itself the the world the plane you don't like it but you don't know really what it means are. this is the first non-negative portal you've seen basically for hate for uh hazel for sure and when we would use it, would we go all to the same spot? Or kind of check, everyone. <laughs> wow! Everyone don't want to fuck this one up. Beautiful. <laughs> everyone goes into overdrive. Even Wrath, he's like, I'm going to take a calculated risk. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Feels good. Um, pills. Let me look at your character real quick. With the scrolls in hand. The character class you chose. Good, sir. Go ahead and... Uh, really weighing this one. You got a pretty good character sheet. There's a lot of directions I could choose. I'm going to choose a deception check. And we'll get into that in a sec. Interesting. You want me to roll deception? Yes, sir. Oh, oh. oh, that was painful to watch. What are the odds of a 20 and then a 1? <laughs> With a plus 5. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did not think it was going to go in that direction. I was really trying to choose something favorable, but... <laughs> Pills. You absolutely could fix this. And your allies know. As you go to discuss that what you see before you will absolutely misfire the moment you guys use it. And you feel like you can get it to focus on something. But your excitement prevents you from offering that as an option. You're like, oh yeah, this is just going to send us anywhere. Could I fix it? You don't say yes, but oh, they both look at you and they're like, oh, this is fucking to fix it. But what he's telling us is, yes, it's broken. Hmm. So there's no way of you lying to them with that one. But it's very clear that you do know it, but it's just you're, you're excited. You love the chaos. You love the the animosity. You like the idea of where will this go? Is it the next treasure hunt? Is it better than where you are? Is this part of it? Is this the ultimate goal? There's just too many eyes for you pills to just go after. How? If the other guy didn't find it, you know? Some other guy just used that. How big is this um, thing? <laughs> this portal, or it's a it's a pedestal to stand over. <clears throat> okay, so it's probably too big for me to use mending. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely like it's covering like a ten foot area. Um, you would okay. take a step yeah. up to it, kind of like a ladder okay. platform. All right, never mind then. All right. Bills, where should we go? I'll just follow you guys. This is your derby event. I mean, we could we could just use it. But you said it's broken. I I did say it was broken. I did. But someone else used it, and they're not here anymore. What's well, not uh, here? They're not lying here dead. So it went to someplace. So are you saying they could be in pieces? Lying somewhere? Just not here. 
Unless it was another genie that just sucked him into a ring or a lamp or any other vessel like you guys did, then really there's never been a dead body left behind. Oddly. Bills, you've been in this environment uh, more often than not, have you? And this under dark uh, lava caverns, yeah, I mean, mines. I've been underground before, yeah. But I, um, what are you getting at? Um, well, I was going to ask you which direction do you think would be best, portal or boat, or the checking out the railroads and seeing what uh, could be there. So my gut's telling me the railroads are going to go into some kind of mining cavern for some kind of ore. Okay. Because we saw ore, we saw maybe not refined ore, but those balls you carry are some kind of ore that maybe they mined here. Okay. Um, I don't know. I guess there could be something interesting in, in the mines if they are mines. We could take the boats to the core. The core sounds interesting. It also okay. sounds a little ominous. Um, but it's probably safer than the portal. I thought well, it was probably more interesting. You want safe or do you want interesting? I'm a risk taker, but uh, Hazel, what do you think? You wanted the boats, right? Okay. To the core? Alright, we'll go to the core. We can always come back and take the portal, maybe. True. We'll go to the boats. I'll follow you guys along. We're going to the boats. Going yes, to the boats. To the wind I'll, boats. I'll pick Resting. up the uh, pills. You got it. You pass them over the a little chasm there. Yep. And you see these boats, boats just lofting a bit, kind of wavering as the magma courses in its normal nature. For the first time, as you guys come to the cusp of this brink, you realize that the magma is going in a circular like mannerism around you. Not in a whirlpool swiftiness, but a tandem that seems to swirl is confirmed. The boats sit there. You enter them. Miss Ellie is a question of concern and then quickly <laughs> gets into it and you like, see lava splatter about and oddly enough it carries her weight and sun. Go ahead, all of you know. guys comfortably you guys can all comfortably fit within okay. a single one. As you do you all linger for a bit. And then you all feel as if a Willy Wonka-like mechanism low is trudging you along this unseen track. Wherever does it go? We'll hold the session there because I like suspense. But <laughs> we'll take some time to just discuss and talk about any pros and cons. Um, you guys are awesome. I love you guys' uh, natural character RPism. Is there anything visually, playing, playing wise, or uh, content that you guys would like to see more of? Is the pace okay to you guys? Does this feel comfortable? Is it too many options? Is it understood? Is there any super lostisms going about? Um, I mean, it's it's good for me. I mean, the pace is kind of. Uh how order we make it it feels like True. we just want to get on the boat or whatever sooner than we could have just done it True. <laughs> but, you know, it's always good to hear in case you never know um but for the other two yeah i think i'm fine with the pacing currently mm -hmm. yeah. nothing's felt too hard or too difficult or unfair or unreasonable or has there not for me not mm, not Entirely for me either. Okay. Um, just so you guys are aware, uh, I noticed obviously uh, Wrath brought up the most, uh, referring to previous sessions. In doing so, if it's a session that's been like last week or two weeks ago and it was like something we were super heavy in, I'll have your characters roll like a history check because it's something that you guys obviously should know a lot more about because you were dedicated to it. If it's something that like was definitely mentioned and I know it was, then I was like, oh, they're never going to 
remember that and you guys bring it up i'll usually just hand it out and i'll butt in i'm like he's correct this did happen etc etc and you guys can absolutely act on it nobody has to feel shy or what have you um usually after five sessions i feel like i show all my cards like all my ways of tricking or playing into your desires or excitements um no map is safe on visually what you see if you say you blow a hole in the wall and you make it happen you blew a hole in the wall and there's a whole new map that's about to be happening i will make it on the fly and we're gonna make it work you guys are not restricted to your visual skew and you guys have been not playing that way and i love it i just want to make sure that you guys understand that this is a fluid game it's absolutely what you guys create i am going to make the next map exactly how i imagine you guys describe it without even being there and that's the beauty of DD. so everything is a development of a team never feel like your railroad i'm not pinching you between two options you can always turn back and say let's ask the person crossing us next what should we do totally fine um otherwise i want to express my amazing gratitude to you guys you guys are great uh the recaps have been amazing for your team you guys make great conversation as three of you trav did say he's still lingering he didn't anticipate it to be this long they have a couple uh i guess with all the crazy weather depending on where you live uh they had a couple uh heavy heavy snowstorms so it's been delayed their sessions he believes maybe two more and then we'll have our fourth man in and you guys will meet uh, wherever it is you guys end up and then cool. otherwise cool. everything is a 100 canon this isn't on the side or pushed away this is development 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 and we will get into the nitty-gritty big bad future threats when you're all together otherwise you create your own problems and your own treasures you guys can always reach out to me anytime i hope you guys have a good night any questions, comments, concerns, drop them on me. Never feel shy. And if you guys ever see an opportunity for a one-shot on a day that you guys don't normally play and you're available, jump in. It's usually a ton of fun. And that's when the crazy, crazy happens because they bring in the ridiculous characters. You guys just like make the stupidest thing you can think of or the best thing you ever wanted to try. And you realize that playing with stupid players is a nightmare. But it's still a lot of fun. So uh, never be shy. Respond to anything you see or don't. It's up to you. But otherwise, good night. I appreciate you guys. And reach out to me if you have any questions. I will be updating your characters in the background and adding any items you guys picked up. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. See ya. Take care. Ladies.